where we left off last week. We'd all gone to uh, a small town of Lindos and were helping out in that town as the recent issues in Akros made their way downstream, basically. And there were a lot of rocks blocking the river, but that didn't become an issue when the river suddenly decided to change course. With changing course, it also brought several creatures that you would not expect in fresh water and also killed off a lot of the existing things that were in the fresh water because they don't like salt water. Um, let's see, your team also uh, managed to get a new uh, sound ordinance put into place uh, within Lindos that no noise after 2 a.m. And uh, let's see, you fought a, a catfish creature and a, a shark. Towards the end of the session, Prime arrived, carrying Agros's murder horn. I mean, um, what was it? It's the horn of something, but uh, yeah, whatever. You had a name for it. War horn. It's fine. War horn. There we go. Murder horn, war horn, same thing. War horn, murder horn. So morning has come. You didn't get a great amount of sleep last night, but I'm going to give you benefit of a long rest. That you had all day after, you know, fighting sharks and all that kind of stuff to kind of chill out. So, all well rested. Morning has come. And it's time for you to make that final choice. Your final, final decision here. What are you going to do? We're walking, right? Yeah. yeah. Down to the port, yes. And then the other, a group of people are going back upstream uh, that I was, I finalized training with. So I'd wake up like bright and early, probably before everyone else, and um, go meet that eldest uh, fisherman, finish mm -hmm. up the captain training, mm -hmm. and send him on his way. Didn't, didn't we ha uh, have the owl fly the message instead so that they didn't have to go? Upstream. You did have the owl carry a message. That is correct. Yeah. I don't uh, know if that, did, that was before, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, Vara was still was training them to use the boat and take the boat upstream so that they would be able to make it back downstream. And there's still a lot of concern about the fact that the river changed course and they don't know what's going to happen upstream. So. They were going to follow it and kind of try to find out what was what was going on. You were going yeah, to go yeah. the other direction and find out what was going on. Sorry. Yeah, the owl had arrived after I had started training. So it, if we think the owl covers it, then uh, it probably would be safer for them not to travel upstream. Oh. Um, well, I mean, in, in character, uh, I'll just be like, it's probably not the best idea to move the boat in any way right now, seeing as how it's still seen on the ship. Sure. So, if the owl can send the message, and we won't have any problems with traveling on foot, and they shouldn't have any tra problems traveling on foot coming back as well. Sure. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't think they really would need to travel north. I think the main purpose was to bring the boat, but to be fair, how would they get the boat back if the direction doesn't change? They'd be going upstream the entire time back. It just, and we know that new things are in the water. So um, if the owl covers it, then uh, I will go let him know um, that a voyage probably isn't best, but in the event something happens or flooding occurs again, he at least has some knowledge that I shared with him last night. So are you going to talk to Ristos or Eocles, the, the harbor master or the captain that you train, basically? Ristos oh, the captain. captain. Okay. Yeah. Well, he is, he is on board getting everything set to sail. Perfect. And he's got a couple of people with him uh, that he's trying to show the ropes, show the lines, basically. Perfect. Uh, Vara, I, I thought you were leaving. Ah, yes, good morning. Um, we are about to head out, but uh, we actually 
had a messenger return to us. We have um, we have a mechanical bird um, that is able to to ferry messages, and we were we were able to get a message back, um, flying its way toward um, Akros. So, if you don't wish to take this voyage, um, you do not have to. In fact, I would probably advise against it. Why is that? I'm. We were going to take the the boat up upstream, find out what's what's happening up there, but... Yes, um, well, ideally, we could get the message back and perhaps either have the bird stop back here or... Otherwise, what, um... Well, I don't know. I think the water is perilous right now. We've, we've had to fight multiple creatures and the origin of whatever's happening is most likely where we're headed. So I'm sure Xenon would appreciate having the ship delivered to him, but I don't think it's worth the necessary risk now that we're able to send a message to him a different way. Yeah. I see. Uh, okay, and he calls out the names of the, the crew and uh, stand down. Um, let's bring in the sails. And I, I apologize. Uh, um, it seems like you were doing a fine job getting it ready, and um, obviously in the event of further flooding, or, or if you do feel so called to um, travel north if something else happens or changes, you, you have the basic understanding now to get there. So um, you would have my blessing, if need be, to take this ship up to Xenon, but unless that becomes a necessity, I, I don't think it's worth the journey would it be worthwhile for us to take you down to to data and and bring the ship back we'd probably be back in time to to meet xenon it's would it be faster traveling against the current than it would be on well, you're you're more knowledgeable about these things than i am mm -hmm. We have well, a good wind really coming. Up current. We we have a good wind coming from from the Forge of Porphyrus down the down the valley. Um, I don't know. Um, hmm. I just would hate for something to happen to the ship. It's not um, mine to to make that decision and and us going down was going to be with Xenon's captainship and permission. So, I don't know, taking it without having informed him just doesn't quite sit right with me. Understood. Well, um, you know, extend his hand. Safe journeys. Yes, safe journeys. And it is, it is now a lifeboat. If, if things are to worsen or, or change, Use this boat in a case of emergency. I, I, I would rather would rather it be with you all. Of course. Thank you. Of course. And so they will they will stow things and get the ship uh, battened down. Cool. And Var will return to everyone. And... All right. Okay. Um. They offered to take us down to um down to data and back, they figured they might be back in time before Xenon got back, but I just, we'd be fighting the current, and even if the wind is on our side, I, we don't really know what's going on with the water, so um, I, I turned that offer down, I hope you don't mind. I, I also think it's best that it stay here, I, do, I don't want anything happening to it without Xenon's permission, and in case things get bad here again, flooding or otherwise, I, I would like the the town to have somewhere to to go to. I mean, these a lot of these buildings are right along the shore. If it were to flood again, it would be rather perilous. Victory comes from preparation, and they don't have the preparation. Best not risk it. I agree. How Anything else to do in physical? town before we go? Hmm? We've we've already traveled so far on foot might as well continue on anyways sure 
I think I've uh, gathered all the extra things we needed. I, I got that um, our water skins back last night. I, I'm personally ready to go. I am as well. I think we should just go. Is Adrastos going to be staying back? Uh, I think he'll be or... tailing along quietly this uh, this Okay, trip. cool. <laughs> Very quietly. Very quietly. Al almost as though he's not there at all. Wow. <laughs> Very impressive. He, he polymorphs into a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd be so mad. Oh, he's just not me this time. <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Very tempting. You can just bond over that shared experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you ever still sometimes get the craving for cheese? <laughs> <laughs> the real ones don't even like cheese. <laughs> Some psychosomatic. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, some, someone said maybe somebody's carrying him while he takes a cat nap. I can just see a Drastos curled yeah. up, you know. <laughs> curled Precious. up in somebody's backpack, you know. So. <laughs> Tully's in the back like, why Why was it me? I can't carry. <laughs> 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 no, Prime's in the back like Marvin. Yep, here I am. Brain the size of a planet and I'm carrying the cat person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic Marvin. Uh, why didn't I play that character? <laughs> hey, Agrios might get killed. <laughs> That's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. <laughs> you always got to have a few backup prepped. All right. So uh, Prime is along with you, and he will he will follow from the back end of the group because you know that's where he feels he belongs as the uh, the assistant robotic creature, I guess you'd put it. And uh, as you all depart, you know uh, nobody waves you away because they're all still sleepy from the night before when they were woken up so early. But uh, anyway, you make your way out of Windows. Harbor and Arlindo's port on the on the the route down to Data Harbor, and it's actually a a bit nicer of a path than what you are are on the other side that leads to Akros, uh, simply because it's gotten a little flatter here, so not so steep, not so much of a climb and or descent depending on which direction you're going, of course. So not, not as rocky. You're beginning to get into fields and camera ships. Sorry. And <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I tried I real I just realized my background was my friend's background and I don't panic. So I was like, oh I gotta change that. But I turned my camera off. Uh let's Bobby. see if I can get people back even close to the right place here. Uh oh, hey, perfect. that worked pretty good. That was that was <laughs> one maneuver and it worked. So, hey. yeah. Yes. I, I've been meaning. For, oh, I'm not going to talk about it. anyway. As you are making there's, uh, <laughs> along. there's the uh, I think I think you and Var still needs to swap around. I'm DM oh. now. Three <laughs> <laughs> potions for everyone. That is a good point. How did, that <laughs> yes! that never happens. How in the world did that happen? Okay. <laughs> that better. That better. Yeah. Get back in your place, Vara. <laughs> My free potion. That's it. Roll I initiative. I am the captain now. <laughs> Anywho, as you are making your way down the trail, it's it's a fairly nice day for most of it. It uh, begins to cloud up a little bit as you you get closer to the bay, but you still have quite a long walk ahead of you. It's going to be a couple of days journey. But our first day, let's see how well it passes here. The first day passes very quietly. There's no traffic sailing up the river or down the down the up river or anyway. No no one's sailing in towards that side topwise. So yeah, there's nothing uh going on in that direction. Um there's not much in the way of animal life that's milling about 
either. But with a storm possibly brewing, that's that's not totally unexpected. You know, birds aren't going to be alighting quite as much. Um, as you approach evening of this day, uh, the owl returns from its visit. It will land, and it just, and, and usually when it lands, it would, you know, stick up a foot or something like that. It just lands and just turns its head and looks at you. Look for a note. And there's no note. Oh, you just want to come along with us then? I'm just kind of... <laughs> I'll, I'll <laughs> let it sit on my shoulder. Okay. Okay, hopefully that means the note is passed. And the information is also passed as well. You didn't get caught, did you? Didn't think so. Give a little tummy scratch. <laughs> oh. Were you With wanting them, to make oh, camp? Are you going to walk through the evening, or are you planning to make camp? Because again, we are approaching those evening hours. How is the area around right now? If um, is it still just basically we're right next to the river that's going upstream instead, and and there's not yeah, much you're else. you're you're within at any point as you're going along this, you're within fifty meters of the rivers, varying between fifty and ten meters. It's not really a steep cliff anymore because you are flattening out and it's it's not quite farmland yet, but with some work it probably could be. So you're kind of in the foothills of this area. Okay. If that's the case, I'll just be like I think we should probably make camp around this area. It feels rather safe and I mean we're always going to have people keep watching and whatnot. All right, say so. Three. Uh, and uh, I'll I'll start help helping make camp first. If you want me to make right. any rolls for it, Prime will assist as well with getting set up. If you want to do a survival to find a decent area that looks good. Perfect. With the assist or no? Uh, well, he he doesn't have a uh. uh but, uh. He's not skilled in this, so he'll just assist you with it. So, yeah. Okay, it's a non-natural 20. Okay. You find an excellent spot uh, between the path and the river. You've got kind of a wide berth to the river at this point, and there's an outcropping that apparently has been used as a camp before. There's a small fire pit, uh, and it's it's got room to, to set up. It, it actually looks at some point there might have been a tent of some sort set up in this location. Of course, now it's just barren ground, but it's nice, smooth, flat, no rocks outside of the fire pit. Very nice, comfortable place. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll just set up there and then look around for everybody and just be like, okay, so who's going to keep first watch? And Anything. My will... eyes don't do so well once it gets real dark, so I'd be happy to take first watch. Uh, I'm in the same boat. But... Oh. I guess you've already taken it. No, no, you do the first one. I'll sleep first. <laughs> All right. Yeah, who here has dark vision? <laughs> That's always a good question. Who indeed? Mm -hmm. I'm a human. I definitely don't. Yep. Same. Do any of us have it? I don't think any of us do. Yeah, do yeah, I do. I do. Tikaros does. Oh, okay. Yes. I do as well. All right, two of you do. <laughs> oh, that works. Okay. Then, if that's the case, I'll just be like the the delegating party and just be like. Well, since I can't really see in the dark, and Agrius and Ariana have volunteered, I'll just help set everything up this time. And, uh, yeah, well, wake, wake me up if there's any problems, if we're being attacked or anything. 
and uh, after setting up and everything, I'll go to bed. Wake me up when you can't see anymore. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll go to bed. Fabulous. Uh, whoever's doing first watch, let's have a perception check. All right. That is a dirty 20. Me too. <laughs> it's three in a row for us so far. It's only going downhill from there. Yep, it's, it's, <laughs> that, that cannot bode well. <laughs> I know. Yep. <laughs> Uh, as the evening uh, begins to, to happen, the sun goes down, it chills a bit in the air. Um, definitely that feeling, that smell of a storm brewing picks up a little bit more. Obviously, within the next day, it, it's going to rain. But it's a quiet night. You, you're looking around, you hear, you hear, you hear twigs break, but you able to immediately, you know, that's just, you know, falling limbs from, from a tree. There's nothing out of the ordinary, any of it. It's just a quiet evening. Ah, boring. How are you so confident in Mogus? What do you mean? Why wouldn't I be confident in a god? I seem to have lost my confidence in Eros. Mm. I don't want to say he's let me down. I feel that's rude to say of a god. But I feel like there were tenets that I believed of him that he has not followed in his... I've literally seen him. I believe that he exists, of course. But in the way of like when you find out that your parents are people. Hmm. I see, I see. Well, he's not a person so much, though, is he? I mean, hmm. I don't mean to be rude, but. Um, <sighs> What makes you think that whether you believe in him or not has, makes a difference? He's a oh, god. I'm sure it doesn't. Right. I, I'm sure I doesn't. However, there was a big part of me that was him. And now those parts that I thought were him might actually have just been me. And there is a deep loneliness in that that I am beginning to have creep in. Hmm. Sorry, very existential. Um, no, no, it's fine, really. For me, I've never really felt I had a choice but to follow Mogus. His mark on my life has uh, been nearly inescapable. I've felt the same about Eros. You grow up in Akros, don't have much of a choice. Is it simply that you grew up in Akros? Is it the bond between Akros and Eros? Or you, as an individual, with Eros? I think that's what I'm wondering. I've, I wasn't a, a, a prophet or, or an oracle or anything of that. I've, I'm a paladin. I, I fight for him and for his beliefs, or at least what I thought were his beliefs. But I thought his beliefs were meant to bring victory for all and, and find one's victory with in, inside oneself, not bring chaos and destruction for your own gain. Oh, no, that's and that's what he's... Precisely. And, and that's the whole dichotomy of it all. But he's more like his brother than he seems to want to be. And then that makes him more like a person. And that makes me doubt that or maybe believe in him more because he's fallible. But are we fallible because of that? And I don't know where I stand on that. So I'm now feeling now, did I feel this way because he felt that way or am I not? <clears throat> 
you see my my stress. I think you might be overthinking it. This is entirely possible. But, you know, if that whole chaos and destruction for gain, I mean, if it starts to feel good to you, just FYI, you can always talk to me about Mogus. I could make a good case for him. You are a very good evangelist for him. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I try. I will. I will. I will consider it. I'll, I'll let myself I, give in a little bit in my next battle. How about that? Oh, I would like that. Bobby, I'm not going to espouse the, the virtues of Eros, certainly, but uh, I would reconsider why it is that you serve the gods in the way that you do, if you do. I think you should, but I think you should find how they communicate to you in your life and its events. Not simply uh, some sort of cultural mandate from your city or nation or race. That is very wise, Agrios. I appreciate your counsel. No problem. Now, I'm going to look for something to kill. Enjoy. Thank you, Harshal. Does this mean uh, at the end of your watch, you are going to wake the next watch and then leave to go hunt? I want to make sure I'm understanding. Yeah, that your sounds good to me. Here. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess it's time to wake the next the next watch. Uh, yep. He'll wake the next watch. Who is? Who did we decide on? Me. That's right. Tika Rosenvara. Tika Rosenvara. Yeah. Indeed. Right. Um, we'll since we're going to have someone leaving the camp, I have put a map up, and you would be located camping right in this area here that I'm pinging. Is the ping not showing? Um, That's not new. I've me. never had it not do that before. Why is my ping not showing? Well, that. Let's try this this time. Well, now it's doing the We're right on a little bend in there. We go. There we go. That's it. Yeah, you there saw it. So I don't know. Roll twenty, and I just have a love hate relationship. <laughs> Pink. So let me start with Agrios, who is going to leave camp. <laughs> Which Survival direction? Check? Which direction are you going first? Mm. Oh, okay. I'm being asked this. <laughs> well, there's uh, always a choice, you know. Okay. Are you going to head towards certain death or possible death? Definitely possible death. Okay. okay. It's my purposes more. And um, which direction would that be? <laughs> oh, I thought my myth you would tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning to go into the uh, into the forest here rather than toward oh, the wow. water. So you decided against possible death. Okay, that's good. Oh, fair enough. I'm just having fun. Right? <laughs> so you say. So you say. So go ahead. And let's move you off into the the woods a little bit. I mean, and we. Where am I on the map? Let me drag myself out there. I don't know if you are or not. Uh, there we go. Now I am. I trust you all to be in charge of your own tokens. No, I've moved off into <laughs> foolish, the woods. foolish, foolish though that is, I trust you to be. Of course, you're going off the edge of the map that I have, but that's okay. We'll make this work somehow. Mm-hmm. 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 For those who are remaining in camp, I need a perception check. And from those who are watch from those who are on watch, let's be clear. Perfect. Ooh. Yes. That's a natural one. Which is like a minus one. <laughs> there for it is. Very good. I got a Vara, 
Farah, I'm so excited that we get to stay up and do watch together. This is the greatest. Oh, I agree. It is, it is nice. It's a good night tonight. The, I like the sound of the, the river. It's very calming. Maybe we should go swimming in it. Just test the water. Is it still flowing the opposite direction? It is still flowing towards Akros, yes. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to dipping our toes in, but I don't know if we should go fully swimming. It might be too cold as well. Mm. Let's just go have a look. Sure. And she'll skip, but she's trying to be stealthy, but not really. Just skip down to the water. Cool. All right, we'll follow. All right, very good. The water has definitely picked up a salty smell. No longer fresh water. Mm. And it is quite chill coming in from the bay. Agrio says you are hunting. Let's have a survival check. I rolled 15. All right. Um, as you are looking around, um, you come across an area with some bones, and they seem to be small animals' bones, maybe a fox, something along that size. Um, so definitely there is some kind of a, a predator in this area. Mm. In fact, if you, as you examine the bones, uh, you can see some gnaw marks. So it is some kind of a canine, most likely. He's definitely going to follow the trail of that. Okay, very good. Javelin already drawn. Okay. Uh, let's have another survival check as you are attempting to track with no tracks, just bones. Okay. This time it's an 18. Oh, excellent. Excellent. You go a little bit further, kind of following your intuition. If I were the predator, where would I look? Kind of thing. And sure enough, you come across another area where bones have been left, but they're kind of moved up under a bush, not, not left out in the open. So this is a smart predator. This isn't this isn't your average creature. I mean, it's it's still an animal. I mean, obviously it left the bones here, didn't bury them or anything. I mean, so it's it's a bit careless in that respect, but it's not openly leaving a trail for you to follow directly. Hmm. By far by now you would estimate uh you've been traveling and hunting for probably 45 minutes to an hour, which carries you a pretty good bit away from the camp, away from the river. It'll Just be so fine. everyone knows where you are and you know where you are in the in the watch at this point. It'll be fine. If he needs help, he's got his horn. <laughs> Very good. You travel a bit further and suddenly you hear the howl of a wolf. Just this enormous, horrific howl. And I'm going to need a uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Oh. oh, how enormous and horrific are we talking? Because now I'm imagining the wolf from the beginning of uh, like 300. <laughs> Funny you should say that. I was, I was thinking of the nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was uh, a wisdom more. sink? More. It is a wisdom uh, yeah. save. 15 on the wisdom save. That is good enough to make it. And All right. after reasoning for a moment of what is going on, you notice standing uphill, I mean, it obviously has the high ground. A large white wolf. With its head down and its teeth bared. 
I think this would be a good time to roll initiative, don't you? I'll do it. Did Tigris and I hear that? No, you did oh. not. Tigris certainly didn't with a natural one. Would you <laughs> would you prefer me to roll that? Uh I don't care. I just need to know the number. Okay, twelve. That is that is definitely higher than two. <laughs> So I would say uh, you have initiative in this case. Wonderful. Agrios. So seeing this wolf ahead of you, what would you like to do? Um, I will ask during that during that watch, would that have counted as a short rest or anything like that, or? Uh... Uh, no, not so. F well, I mean, I guess you could. It was a couple hours long, so you were just relaxing sure. and not doing anything too strenuous. Uh, normally that would get, you know what? No, on a short rest, really, that doesn't count because you're actively keeping watch. So no, I'm going to say no. Damn. Long rest, it would count still. Short rest, it does not. Okay. Z, uh... Z, you don't have to correct me this time, Z. I'm just making clear you know that. <laughs> I'm trying to lower my stress levels. Yep. And raise yours. So it is your turn. What would you like to do? Okay. Well, what I... Now, you were fully rested from the night before. You had had a long rest, so everything should have reset. From oh, okay. I had anyways. a. Oh, okay. I, I'm yeah, not I said still before you, the before you I was left, for the last battle. Before you left Windows. Yeah. That's right. Oh, thank goodness. That's very good. <laughs> okay. Whew. Um, okay. In that case, let me see what's here. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I can make this work. Okay. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt first. Okay. Um, it's a ranged spell attack. Let me go and make that. Okay. Uh, let me double check how I can do this. So that does, that applies to any attack roll. Okay. So technically I rolled a seven, but I'm going to go ahead and channel divinity to add a plus 10 to that, uh, for 17. That is Will a that hit. That is a hit. Okay. That's good. Well, that's, that's that blown, but... Uh, all right. Um, and then I'm going to follow that up by... That's right, I can't cast another spell right now. Uh... Okay. I think that's it, actually. That probably was a bad idea now that I think about it, but <laughs> uh but yeah, let me go ahead and roll the damage. Sorry. It is a second level guiding bolt, so it's gonna be five D6. I don't know if I have that many D6s, so I'm gonna roll it on roll twenty for once. All right. I'm gonna try and trust it. You fool we get. No. <laughs> Twenty-two. Not bad. And what type of damage is this? This is, uh, this is, I believe, radiant. Yeah, radiant damage. Okay. Excellent. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head, which is always a bad no choice. Worries. I should use roll 20 for this. All right. And I believe that will be your turn, correct? That is indeed my turn for the moment, yeah. All right. The creature in front of you winces from the pain and kind of blinks like, like there was a bright flash in its eyes. And then you hear a noise behind you.
the sound of large paws running as the wolf that was sneaking up behind you during this time while your focus was on the other wolf leaps forward at you and i i just know he misses i doubt a nine hits correct correct leaps forward at you at the last moment you you just get that feeling that you know the the hair on the back of your mane stands up i said that on purpose and you, your shield just moves just enough and you deflect this thing and it lands on the ground in front of you so you now have two of them and i'm going to move you over here so that we just have a positioning so we can kind of see some room okay all right and it's going to turn and take a couple of steps to the side so that it's not they're not both directly in front of you mm. and that is all they can do for that. Your your previous hit stopped the other one from being able to do anything at the moment. Okay. But they did both. They are, they are both adjacent to me then. Uh, they're about five feet away. They're not right up on okay. top of you. Yes. And they're not adjacent to each other either. No, they are not. They're a good 10 feet apart. <sighs> of course they would be. All right. Uh, if it's my turn, it is. I'm going to charge at the one who just attacked me, the new one, the one who's not glittering from the guiding bolt. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mark them red and blue so that you can. Uh, and the blue one's the one that is not glittery. He's the, he's the non Twilight vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna take out my battle axe and take a swing at him okay so you're gonna to have to close the distance yep i will try and close the distance uh you said it's the blue one yes the new one all right yep yep let me go ahead and close the distance i just and... realized the map is not showing sufficiently there let's see if i can get the map a little bit clearer on roll 20. Yeah, pack him. Does a fourteen hit? Yes, it does. Okay. Ooh, that is. One sec. Let me just. Uh, okay, that is 10 slashing damage on it. Okay. Your blade cuts forward, and you know you've scored a hit, but through the thick fur, you can't really tell how how much you were able to, uh, to damage this creature, but... It doesn't it doesn't feel like you you made the purchase you thought you would with your axe considering the swing mm, you had on it i see that's not good i don't like that uh and then would i be able to put my <laughs> axe away because i forgot to do this first well you, um, you used you used one of those trivial yeah. actions to pull it so i'm not so sure you could Swap okay. them out on the same turn so easily. But what if I just drop it? <laughs> well, that that yep. abs that's a free dropping your weapon's always a free action. So I have no problem with that whatsoever. Screw it. I'm if if it's not helping me very much, I'm gonna drop it. And then with my free hand, I'm going to, to use do the um somatic components of a uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. And summon my spiritual weapon. Of course, my mind is going, what are your semantic <laughs> for us? You know, weapon? I'm just curious what that's that a very like. good. That's a very good question. Um, it says that, that they exist, but I can't imagine what they would be. 
Uh, we'll talk. We'll we'll figure that out at some yeah, point. Yeah, just curious. But yeah, so that axe is going to appear and it will attack that wolf with advantage, I believe. Uh, are advantage. you going for the blue one or the red one? Because I see the your axe one. over by the one. Okay, cool. The red one. All right. There's another. There it is. All right. So with advantage, that is 18 to hit. Absolutely a hit. And that is uh, the eight, eight, uh, uh, force damage, I believe. Okay. So he's taking about 30 damage so far. How is he looking? Um, he, he looks a little worse for wear. You've obviously done a, a little, little bit more to wear. him than you did the other one. Right. Okay. A little worse for wear after yeah. 30 damage. All right. Yeah. And I'm out here alone. On a scale of one to okay. 100, I'm joking. I'm not going to, he doesn't have 100 HP. But... <laughs> I just wanted to see the look on your okay. face. So. Okay. Anyway. No, it's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> he has 99. Okay. I mean, no. Anyway. Okay. Right. Well, that is my turn. <laughs> um, All right. Very good. With that, being hit by this, this, axe the red wolf the red white wolf something like that is going to take a look at the axe kind of like it doesn't it knows it's a threat but it uh, realizes there's not much it could do against it yeah no i i get that and it is going to charge at you and leap into the air My dice hate me tonight. That is a thank 10. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Which does no good whatsoever. Um, okay, those two guys are... You know what? They're out of here. There were two more. <laughs> okay, that's a 15 at least. Nope. Ah! Anyway... <laughs> I'm going to run out of dice soon. I only have about 30 D20s over here. We're getting there. So. Uh, that one uh, attempts to bite at your leg, but again, you're able to move out of the way of it. Uh, so neither of their attacks land. But he is going to reposition Ooh. himself so that there is now one on either side of you. Right. Oh, I don't like that. And you are up. Okay. Hmm. Either side of them. Okay. Um. Right. So that. How much is that? That's a bonus action to cast, which means I couldn't use my spiritual weapon this turn. Sorry, I'm just thinking. That's okay. Um, I'm summoning d20s because I feel like I'm going to go through a lot of them at this rate. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a very just large d20s time. hailing down on you. <laughs> if it if it gets worse, I'm going to go from the regular size d20s to the slightly larger ones. <laughs> You're, you're in trouble yeah. now, a slightly larger one. Oh, man. I just That's... wanted to go hunting. I just wanted to go hunting. If, if, if that fails, I'm going back to my original blue box 1977 dice. So <laughs> I'm hovering these. I'm hovering the spiritual weapon over to attack the red one again. I think I better focus on just one at, at a time so that okay. not, it's not two against one. Probably um, a good idea. Because, you know, where there's one, there's two, and where there's two, oh, never worry. Don't worry about that. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit. That's a hit. I should hope so. 
Uh, that is only five force damage that time on him. Okay. I do have more weapons I can draw because I am at this. I'm going to reach down. Hmm. No, I've already used my bonus action. So, yeah, I don't want to use any weapons. You know what? I'm going to, with my bare hand, ball it into a fist and beat it against my shield. And it's going to make this resounding uh, chime sound. I'm going to pull the dead on the red one. You have to okay. make a wisdom saving throw. Sorry, everyone, by the way. I know we were just supposed to have a watch, but I decided to go die, I guess. I think I found the dice for the rest of the night. That's oh, a natural no. 20. <laughs> oh, no! Well. Where's that war horn? You took it, right? You took it with I you. I do have it. I was, I was, <laughs> I, I've been feeling confident up until this point. Um, I should have used it. I'll blow it. I will blow it next time after I, after, now that I've blown it. Um, <laughs> All right. Is that it? For yeah, your turn? but that is, that is my turn though. That's an okay. action bonus action. I'm not moving. As you hit your shield and it rings out, the blue wolf kind of turns its head at you, rears back and lets out an enormous howl that just rings inside of your head. And I will need a wisdom saving throw, please. That's one of my better saving throws, so that's a good thing. Uh, that is, but not that good when I only roll a six on the dice, which plus five is gonna be 11. You suddenly find yourself quite frightened of these things. You've hit them, they've fought back, they don't seem to be backing down. But the worst part of it is, you find yourself restrained. Oh no. Oh no. I'm assuming that means I cannot take my horn then. Uh, no, it's not at the moment. In my belt. Yeah, that's that's a good that's it's yep. And that is going to be a 17 to hit as the red one charges in at your left rear leg. I don't get to say that in fights very often, your left rear leg. My left rear leg. Okay. So is that enough to hit? 17. Uh 17. Um, so do I lose any AC for being restrained? Uh, no, no, you didn't. Okay, then no. Okay, so it attempts to move in there, but it's, you know, you've, you've hit it a few times. It was the one that was flash blinded for a moment there. It scrambles in, but does not get purchase on you. And it'll be your turn in just a moment, but I'm going to put you on hold for just a moment. As we go back to those who are keeping watch at the lake. Yeah, so Vara, you know this god business. You're so focused, and I need some help from you because I sure. really want to, yeah, I really want to impress Ptolemaeus because, like, I want to try and communicate with Krufix and tell him how I did it. So can you help me? I want to try. Who are you? You're communicating with the god to impress I wanna try. Ptolemaeus. Yeah, because I think he's interested too. How you did what? I don't know how to. Prefix has stopped talking to me, but I need to find my way back. And I thought you might have some ideas. Find your way back to Prefix? Yeah. Oh. Did you know him? Who? Griffiths. Oh. Well, I, I mean... saw... I did see a vision of Krufix, and then I went and saw an oracle who told me, Krufix has claimed you. So I don't know what that oh. means. Krufix never talks to me, and you and Agrios always talk to gods, and even Ariana, and, a, you know, like, I need some help. I need to communicate with Krufix and then tell Ptolemaeus because I think he likes Krufix too. 
Oh. Oh. Um. Don't have as much familiarity. Well, actually, uh, I've known. Rufix actually attracts a lot of pirating sorts. They seem to go hand in hand. So uh, I've met a few um, who follow him. And of course, I've, I've, I've read a decent amount. Um, well, well, do you understand the... Do you understand the concept of piety? Have you been doing things that would bring honor to Crufix? No. Tell me this. Well, Crufix is, um, what, a trickster, right? I mean, he plays pranks and, and different things like that. I, I do feel like you have earned some amount of... Um, Uh, when we first met, you took that ink bottle, right? It was ink? And yes. And a whole mess. I mean, I, would, I, I don't know exactly uh, if that would count as a pious action, but it seems like it for that type of god. So I suppose just continue do with, doing what you're doing. <gasps> and that's that's easy. Gonna, I can do that. Yeah, and then seek out a temple. Um, whenever we next find one, and and perhaps speak to people. I I've been following um, Athros for a long time, um, and I met someone in a temple uh, who talked to me about. Well, well, we met. Um, you met her as well. Um, showed me their coin minting process and. And talked about other things. I mean, I, I never minted a coin or knew about that. So, uh, even a devout follower, like I would consider myself, learned things from other worshippers. So, I would recommend you and Tali just seek out other worshippers of Rufix and see what they know. And in the meantime, just continue to try to do your best to worship them through trickery and fun which I think you have a natural knack for, so. I don't know, speaking to gods isn't an exact science. Perhaps you've just been doing such a good job that uh, they haven't felt the need to say anything to you. Oh, Vara, you make me feel happy when you talk to me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But... Can I ask you one favor very quickly? Or Tam, is there a voice from above at this moment? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the voice from above will come after your statement. <laughs> one more thing, Vara. Can of you course. help me look for can you help me look for opportunities? Or if you see something and you're like, Tikaros, that's a way to show a crucifix you care. Will you tell me, please? Sure. I, I'll try to keep an eye out, and um, well, we have Prime with us. I think maybe Prime would be a good person to consult on this as well. Excellent. Isn't it such a peaceful night? It is. It's very nice. And about this how time, is doing. <laughs> about this time, you hear a noise, Vara, and it's it's the sound of uh, like an axe. Uh, hitting something, you know, from a distance. It kind of echoes a little bit. Um, most likely, sounds like Agrios found something and is uh, doing well in his hunt. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sounds like uh, Agrios's weapon found purchase. I wonder if there's deer in these woods. Perhaps deer. Or oh, little rabbits, nice. little tiny creatures. Mm. That would be good. All right. Uh, let me pop back over to uh, Agrios. Agrios, mm -hmm. you're up. Uh, this restraint that you feel, it's, it's not as though something's holding you per se. It's just the feeling that you, you can't move. And the biggest feeling you have is you don't want to move anywhere near either one of these creatures. You would love to be able to get away from them, but mm. you don't feel as though you could run away either. All right. 
So here's the thing. I was looking at spells that I can cast with just a verbal component. Mm -hmm. uh, so what Agrios is going to do is not being able to get away, but desperately wanting to. He, mm -hmm. um, he simply allows all of his rage and fear to sort of boil up inside of him and opens his mouth in a scream that is three times as loud as normal as he casts <laughs> thaumaturgy as an action <laughs> excellent excellent um what what, what is the scream is it just a is it just a primal <laughs> or what <laughs> i feel bad asking that because i did that once in another game and the player did that and then it, it was apparently 3 a.m. because he was in Belgium and it woke up his neighbors. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so hopefully we didn't disturb oh, don't worry. him too it's, much with that. <laughs> it's 6, it's 6 p.m. and I live in the woods. So, okay, uh, very good. Oh, well, you know. I might have whatever. disturbed some deer. That's about it. Um, uh, and then as my bonus action, uh, my, my spiritual weapon is going to attack the Red Wolf again. Okay, very good. I believe that can still happen. Uh, damn, so close. It's a 19. Uh, well, natural 19, which means that, it, a that is a hit. To hit. That is a hit. It would have been amazing if that had hit. Here we go. That is seven force damage. All right. The red one is looking a little battered and uh, seems to be backing down a bit. Um, you're not as fearful of him. It's the blue one that you're you're definitely feeling afraid of at this point. So yeah. you'd still like to get away from him, but it's not just happening yet. What else would you like to do? Um, what else would I like to do? That's my action and bonus action, and I can't move. so. Uh... <laughs> hopefully not die that's what i'll do <laughs> okay very good uh meanwhile back at the camp uh just to let you know tikaros you still don't hear anything because if you roll a nat one you're just totally oblivious to what's going on around you vara however you hear this scream that uh echoes out through the night um you know you've heard agrios in battle and he tends to scream during victories uh he tend to scream during charges um is has he ever have you ever yelled at any other time agrios during a battle that they would have been near um not that i can immediately think of i i'm not sure either so or uh, what you will with that information it is entirely up i've to shouted you. praises to mogus i'm pretty sure I that's true that's shouted true. when i saw him fighting with uh Eros at the at the games yep that is think, very, very true. I think Vara's interest would be piqued in a shout. Um, just because I've hunted with Agrius before, and though he enjoyed it, he, it wasn't like a violent affair or something to be loud about, especially while other people are sleeping or we might attract something. So um, yeah. I think she would kind of look to Tikros. And... Do you want to go, um, do you want to go check on the Agrius? I assume Ooh. he's fine, but uh, I just, I don't know if you heard that, but I heard a shout and I don't know, I don't think he would be that loud unless either something's wrong or he's trying to get our attention and need help, needs help carrying back the kid. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we could go look. I mean, his muscles will look really cool if he's fighting something at the moment. We could just sit and watch. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, it seems, seems calm here, so. Um. Oh, and mm, I was thinking of Phoenix, Crufix. They both end in X. Um, Crufix is more about um, horizons, time, secrets. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you can be pious to that. In fact, I'm not sure if he has temples. Um, but it would make sense Ptolemaeus has interested i mean you know i never put it together but perhaps that's why his 
hair looks the way it does. Perfect is often portrayed as simply a collection of stars, but uh, I don't know. I think maybe we should consult Prime and Laura will say this while walking. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. And with that said, perhaps Crufix is talking to you because a lot of your actions are more towards Phoenix. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> hmm. Well, so just, to, just to be clear, and I know there was some discussion in the chat. So to be clear, Crufix is uh, the cleric domains for Crufix would be knowledge and trickery. So yes, he is, that's what I was thinking. So he, I, is, he is on trickery as well. So. I got confused. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Okay. I was trying not to interrupt and, and pay attention and not get tied up in the chat, but I wanted to clarify. No, you're that, good. Yeah, he is trickery as well. So. Phoenix is well, let's Phoenix is this. more Phoenix is more deceit. Yeah, see, type that's of right. trickery. Okay. So. I'm all over the place. Cool. So, no, <laughs> Sounds no good. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I guess when one is doing trickery, you are being secret about it until it comes out. So yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Well, uh, sorry to make you wait and wonder what's going to happen, Agrios. But uh, <laughs> oh, that's it, fine. It's, I assume it's time to find out. As I don't uh, make everyone else wait. Each of the wolves is going to uh, attack. Yeah. And that is going to be an eighteen from the red. That'll hit. Okay. I wasn't expecting the hit. I didn't think to roll the damage with it. So pardon me as I now roll damage. Oh, well, that is going to be a uh, whopping four points necrotic damage. Ooh. Necrotic damage. Necrotic damage. And the other one is a dirty 20. So I'm sure that is going to hit as well. Yeah. Yeah, that is going to be. That one's going to bite a little bit. <laughs> bite because it is a bite a little bit more as that is going to be nine necrotic damage Whew. as they both crunch at your legs oh i don't feel so good the good news is it's your turn is that good news yes, uh, yes it is, okay course. is there any way for me to break free from this restrained effect because i haven't tried i guess but... uh you know what uh, I I should have called for this on your last one, and since you've asked, uh, give me a uh, <sighs> wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, okay, that's not an ability checker. It, okay, so it, I can I don't get disadvantage or anything. All not right. on that one, no. Thank heavens. Uh, okay, and that's a twenty-one. Okay, so I will say that is good enough that at that you suddenly feel the fear is still there it's it's slacked a little bit and you find yourself able to uh break away from this uh, probably the being bit on the legs is enough to snap you out of it yeah yeah so uh more frantically this time he's just going to start beating his his fist against his uh shield to try and cast toll the dead again okay um, against so against red, okay. who is going to have to make the wisdom saving throw. Right. Oh, wait, let me double check. Yeah. And I'm going to assume a seven fails. High dice? Yes. Yes, that'll fail. <laughs> um, all right. Nice. I, I'll roll my damage that is 10 necrotic damage on red oh he definitely felt that one and then you can tell as he he cringes and kind of yelps a little bit and this is a yelp that's uh actually audible and echoes a bit so that others okay. around who are working their way your direction could hear it the uh spiritual weapon unfortunately i rolled yeah so that's a 12. uh that is a miss i assumed all right well uh that's that i don't really want to want to run away and take attacks of opportunity from both of these guys uh so he is going to try and 
stay where he is for now um, and wait for help to show up. Mm -hmm. Very good. So the red one is going to uh, disengage and move away from you. Okay. Because that's good. and it's it's actually limping away. So you've definitely dealt some serious damage to it. The blue one, on the other hand, seems like it wants to redouble its efforts. And that is going to be a 21 to hit. Wait, did that one roll with advantage still? No. Okay. No, thank you. I rolled, hit. if you heard multiple dice, that's because I rolled damage with it so that I wouldn't have to roll dice. But now I've Ooh. spent all the time that how I would much, have saved. By... How much damage? How much damage did you roll? Uh, that is again nine necrotic damage. I like this die; it oh. rolled exactly the same thing. I guess I'm going to have to check it oh. and see if it's weighted. <laughs> oh, ooh, Agrios nope, is different. not looking good or feeling good. No, that's not good at all. All right. Uh, okay, I know what I'm casting next turn. Uh, so v Vara and Tikaros, I believe that both of you were making your way into the woods. Um, who's leading? Um, I think Vara would be since she heard the noise. Okay. Give me a survival check since you are tracking. Uh, nine. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you advantage on it because there are noises coming from this area. I think you would be able to clue on them. So That's go ahead a 23 instead. There we go. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> See, I, I am not evil at heart, so quit saying that. Okay? Beautiful. <laughs> I read the chats. I know. I know. All right. So uh, you definitely know that you're headed in the right way because you hear the continuing sounds of battle. But it was a pretty good walk away from camp. So... Yeah. Are you running or walking at this point? Have we heard? Uh, uh, oh, well, we heard the wolf, right? Uh, definitely, you heard the yelp. Sounds? You heard the yelp. And continuing sounds of something happening. Yeah, if I if I heard something that I think might be a, a wolf, then I would quicken pace. So I would okay. probably be running. Okay. All right. Agrios, you're up. Okay. What is Agrios going to do here? Oh, okay. This is a bit risky. I'm going to try it. I'm going to, well, let's see. Here's the real question. Do I want to? No. Yeah. No. Nope. Not going to tempt bait. All right. Well, I am going to tempt bait a little bit, but I'm going to stand my ground here because I don't want to just try and disengage and run. Or do I want to just run and provoke an attack of opportunity? I'm going to cast uh, Shield of Faith. Okay. Oh, that's a bonus action. Yeah, no, I'm going to try it, though. Well, you got one available, so. I do. Actually, yeah, no, I could, that it's, that's actually good. I am going to probably disengage after this. You know what? I'm going to disengage. I'm going to move my full... 40 feet away from this thing. And I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Shield of Faith. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So okay. my AC is now 20 for the next 10 minutes. Okay. And you move All 40 right. feet away? Yep. That's what I which, got. Which direction are you going to move? Uh, I assume. Are you, Back basically, you'd have to go north or south to get away from them. Uh, which way is towards north? camp? Uh, that would be where the blue one is. So oh, have to he's, go, yeah. oh, I would have to go past he's, him. Yeah. Which you can, you've disengaged, uh, but it's going to take, it's going to take your movement to force around him. You're going to have to include that in there. Obviously you can move diagonals or whatever, but. Sure, sure. Well, I do go 40 feet. So, it, you know, I, yep. I'm move, I'm going to move past him further toward camp. Okay. So go ahead and move your token so I have a rough idea where you're at, and I'm going to move these other ones over okay. here. Okay. So uh, let's see. Way. I mean, nothing. It's all very abstract. So it's like, yeah, it is. It is. Like, I just want know, to have an idea. So yeah, away. we'll put you. We'll put you down around here. So not quite back to camp, but oh, whoops, sorry. Oh, that's yeah. all right. <laughs> 
What about your spiritual weapon? Uh, I mean... You've used your bonus action, so you cannot move it as a bonus action. That's correct. So I think it's pretty well stuck. I guess you can't attack with it either. I can't because attack with it at the moment, action, no. correct? So. I thought you. I thought it attacked regardless. You just had to move. Nope. It with I have a bonus to use action. a bonus. I have to use a bonus action to attack with it. Oh, lame. Yeah. yeah. So it stays there for the moment, and that's that. Okay. Uh, you have disengaged. You have disengaged, so it cannot attack you. However, it can follow you. Yep. And it is going to follow you, but it is going to maintain a distance from you. And it is snarling at you the whole time. And since you've moved about 40 feet back that way, and Vara and Tikaros have, for whatever, been moving in the other way, you were a pretty good ways away from camp, but they're running. I'm going to give credit that they appear in the distance. They're 200 feet away from you. And they can, when you come around this bend, you can see Agrios and you see this white, large figure chasing after him, not moving directly onto him, but in the general area. And it's going to snarl, it's going to look over, see the two other people come in, and it has to make a decision. It looks back and sees your spiritual weapon still hanging there in the air. And it looks back at you and narrows its eyes. And attacks. And that is uh, 21. Why? Why does it keep rolling 21? Damn it. Hey, I, uh, you've seen me punish yeah, the dice. Does. They're scared. Please don't tell me that's a nine. Uh, well, no, I'm going to... It's not a nine. No. What is it? <laughs> it's ten. <laughs> Agrios goes down and his spiritual weapon disappears. So Agrios hits the ground as the creature just gnaws at him. And then the creature steps over and gets between the two of you and the body of Agrios and lowers its head. And you can hear, even at this distance, you can hear it growl. What are you going to do? That's not good. That's not good. Agrios is down. What? Oh, Vara? I think, I think we need the others right now. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, what can I do to wake everybody up? A message or sending or anything? Don't. Um, I don't, I don't even have to press the digitation. It's not part of my. E. Do you have any way to help Agrios at this point, or is I it do. only me? I would you could love do to it? scream. Yeah, I have. Um, are we? Are we an in initiative? Who's going first? Uh, oh, if yeah, you would like, if you're still a good two hundred feet away, so whatever you do, you're going to have to close distance. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and get you in initiative. So please roll. But I guarantee, I unless you roll lower than a two, you're going to move before the wolf. I got an eight. Friendship. Yeah. Um, I got a four. Very good. Like I said, you're still ahead of the wolf. So. Um, my closest healing spell would be sixty feet. Damn. Okay, hold on. Well, twenty is not cooperating with me here. Also, question. I don't know if you would know. Maybe 
Is Z here? Z might know. Um, it's uh, you might know too. I don't know. It's a it's a goofy question. Um, I didn't I didn't mean it like that. No, stop. You see those eyes? Tam literally stop. said you're next. It's a it's Tam's a good, eyes said you're next. So it's a very exactly specific question. It's I have I have <laughs> healing spirit as one of my as one of my spells, and I mm -hmm. am curious if the chalice starry form would count for that. Because Anything. it says whenever you, because it says whenever you cast for chalice, <laughs> whenever you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to a creature, mm -hmm. you or another creature can also get hit points. Right. So I was going to take that form, but my only healing spell is um, healing spirit, which technically the spirit is healing them. No, it it takes I a, have... it takes a spell slot. It counts. Okay. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing is, it has to be within thirty feet of you to get okay. the chalice effect. Yes. Yeah. I just did. I it was like a there's like a weird step between the healing, so I didn't know if it would cancel out. Yeah. Okay. Generally, generally, the way I I handle that is because the healing spirit is something that maintains for a while. It's that first whammy of the spell. If somebody uses it for an additional hit after that. It doesn't grant it to both parties the same way. But the chalice is on the initial impact of the spell. Okay, so it would work for the first healing. Yeah. But it wouldn't work for any of the following. Healing. Yeah, because somebody can walk into the healing spirit, step out of it, walk through again. Correct. Yeah, so it would only be on the first bash of that. So. Um... Could I choose when it works? Like instead of first, could I have it be like the third time? Maybe? No, it's 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 okay. on the initial cast of the spell. So because we're we're not missing any hit points yet, so I guess that doesn't super matter. I, I like the optimism. We're not missing any hit points yet. I've said yet. <laughs> no, I like that. Yet. I'm just trying to figure out what form would be best for me. Okay, sorry, continue. Is this so we are right before initiative? This is like a little action we can take right before initiative. No, you Dan? you are in initiative. This will be your we action. We are in it. Yeah. Okay, sure. But you are 200 feet away. So. Yeah. <clears throat> um, oh, is it my go or? It is somebody? your go. You are up. Yes. It's me. It's me. Oh, shoot. All right. So, Vara, you see Tikaros's face get suddenly very serious. Like, she's usually very happy go lucky, and her face just pales. And she goes, help Agrios. And she takes off running kind of towards the wolf, screaming at it, going, let's go, wolf. And then she can do 70 feet if she does action and movement. She's going to run at the wolf and try and get its attention and scare it. And then she's going to take off towards camp and try and lure it away. Okay, so you're going to run 70 feet forward, correct? Yep. So you're dashing, basically. Yeah, dash, action, movement. Okay, so you're going to get up there, do that, and then you, are you going to go the whole 70 and then turn around? Because it matters, yeah. because that'll be when your turn ends, will be when you turn around to go back, but you won't make any movement back. Okay, cool. So you're 130 feet away from the wolf is what I'm trying to get in my yep. little brain. Okay. Check. Awesome. Very good. Vara, you're up. Do, 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 do. Um... I'm going to become a horse so I can get there faster <laughs> instead of doing a starry form. Um, I see Agrios has brought out the healing elixir. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, so um, I'd like to heal, but I'm not even close to range. So I'm just going to go ahead and become a horse. Well, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I will take my movement. Are you as dashing well. as well? I can't because I'm wild shooting. So that oh, that's right. Shoot. Yep, yep. You're right. You're right. Yep. So Tikros leaves you in the dust as you become a horse and run 
what, 50 feet, 40 feet? 60. 60 feet. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're still closer. You're 140 feet away, whereas Tikaros is 130 feet away. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. On my next turn, I can dash and cover 120. So it'll be good. <laughs> All right. As the two of you charge forward, one of you turning into a horse, the other one running and kind of skidding to a stop to turn and go the other way. The wolf, down like this and snarling, just kind of stands up and and turns around and uh, takes a bite out of Agrios. Obviously not feeling threatened. Meanwhile, still a little ways away and walking up slowly, you see another wolf. This one appears to be quite battered, though. There's, there's red spots mixed among the white of the fur. But it is making its way towards the body of Agrios as well. Agrios, death saving throw, please. Uh huh. How am I affected by being bitten while I'm down, by the way? Well, uh, since you're down, it tends to be a natural attack, and I'm not going to do damage with this. Okay, because normally I would, okay. but I'm just going to. Let's do your saving throws I, and see where I, we go. I, I guess I, I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, you know. All right, so I haven't rolled death saves in a while. Is that it's like a constitution, basically, roll? Or Nothing. just a roll? Just a d20. Just a you want a bust D20. Ten, right? <laughs> also, weird flex and haven't rolled a uh, death save. Huh? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a six. Oh. Especially in this game where we've had people roll them quite frequently recently. Anyways. Yeah, when I'm asleep, the guy with the healing spells is asleep. Same. Every single I know. freaking and they time. Left, and they left you sleeping calmly. We've got a few people with healing spells. Ironically, not the cleric. <laughs> oh, very true, very true. Uh, so that's one down, Agrios. Uh, Tikaros. Yep. Uh, you were stopping and turning, so I'm going to say that you've already turned like you're going to run, but you can see that the wolf turned around and uh, bit Agrios. This changes things! And she stands her ground, thrusts both her hands out, and casts Magic Missile at second level on this thing. And what is the range oh, of your Magic I Missile? I love you, yes. That's a great point, Tam. It's 120 feet, so she's got to step forward, stride, <laughs> stride forward 10 feet to get within 120. <laughs> All right. Very good. She thinks about it and goes, that's not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and she walks forward. So second level, which means I can do 44. Try and get its attention with pain. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 points of damage. All right. Leave as him the, alone! As the missiles hit, the wolf who was, you know, nibbling on uh, some Agrios thigh there just kind of stops and turns and looks at you, blood dripping from its mouth. And Vara, you're up. Okay, um, great. I dash. I cover the span of 120 feet. All right. And you were 100, so that puts you 20 feet away from the wolf. And I neigh very loudly. <laughs> nay, 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 nay. <laughs> this is not the time, Tam. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry you two are asleep. I feel like, I feel like you're almost as useful as uh, Adrastos in this situation. <laughs> I feel horrible about this. trying to get this, back but... there. I'm trying to get back there, but it's not working. <laughs> it's not even the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is true. This is true. I'm never sleeping. Whenever we were, we're well, I'm never sleeping ever again. Um, as it, as I'm being it. reincarnated as an elf, so I uh, never have to sleep. <laughs> I sleep, and everything bad happens. I. <sighs> the battered wolf is going to step up now just behind the blue wolf and it is going to lean over and it is going to take a bite out of agrios as well oh my 
Meanwhile, the blue one is going to look at it and it's going to turn its head back to Vara, who is now within range. And Vara, it opens its mouth and you hear this howl that just, it's, it just rings inside of your head. And I need a wisdom saving throw, please. Nay. Wisdom saving throw is 24. That's good enough. I snored at it. <laughs> you snored at it as the howl, you know, just rings in your head and then fades away to nothing. Agrios, I need a uh, death saving throw, please. You sure do. Let's see, what that, let's see what happens with that. That is a nine. That's two down. Yeah. And this is why I didn't bother doing damage. Don't think I'm going to need to do it this rate. <laughs> just kidding. I don't want Igrios to die. I'm just being a smart ass. You're gross. You see Vara charge up. She's now 20 feet away from the wolves. You are still. Well, you're 100. Well, uh, 110 or somewhere in there. Yeah, you're somewhere there. Away. What are you All going right. to do? We have to get its attention off Agrios. This is terrible. I'm going to... Oh, man, this is hard. I hate these moral decisions. I'm just going to race at it. I'm going to try and get its attention more. I'm going to okay. run my 35 feet. With okay. my action, stuff that. I'm going to run the 70. I'm going to burn movement action again, 70 feet, just screaming, like trying to intimidate this thing. I'm just going to run straight at it. Okay. So that's 70 feet. That's then going to put you 40 feet away. I'm going to use Misty Step bonus action for another right. 30 feet. Okay. And really, like, instantly puff out. 30 feet forward towards it again. And as I reappear, my most blood curdling scream at its face, just like I've turned into some kind of Adrastos warrior. I'm like, I'm channeling Adrastos energy right now. All right. Uh, is this an just trying to get its attention? Yeah. Oh, so you're trying to get its attention. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do it as an intimidation. All righty. Intimidation. Ooh. I should do this more often, you guys. I get plus four to intimidation. <laughs> but that's a great big nine because I rolled a five. Oh, I'm sorry. I rolled an 18. So the wolf, oh. you scream out like that at the wolf. And in return, the wolf lets out a howl that mimics your scream. Uh, kind of, you know, wolf voice mimics the scream that you did. Vara, you're up. And by the way, Vara, you hear, th you hear this howl as well. Cool. Whereas Tigros, you didn't hear the previous one. So, Just what about the others? What about the others? They're sleeping. I'm trying everything. <laughs> Maybe they could hear it. Yeah, we'll see. I've been secretly rolling for Prime over here on the side. So, oh. <laughs> how uh, how close am I to Agrius? Uh, you were forty feet away. I believe, or no, you were thirty feet away. I'm sorry, thirty feet. Yay! Okay, <laughs> I will drop. Um, geez, what is it? Um, I will draw my wild shape and run. I'm not dashing, but run, um, to Agrios and use a coin. Okay. Ah, good idea. Wait, I'm not dead yet. You don't have to put the coins on me yet. It's a downed creature. It is oh. a... Oh, okay. I don't, they, I don't think they bring back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's only downed. It's for downed creatures. I could, I could just use Healing Spirit, but that's a potential 1d6, and the coin is a confirmed 5, so I'd rather do that. All right. So you are restored with 5 HP, and the coin vanishes. Very good. Are you going to do any movement? Uh, actually, no, that was, actually, that was actually wait a minute. You would have to toss that coin from where you're at. 
It was 30. I, you said 30 feet, right? 30 feet. You have to yes. touch them with, you have to touch them with the coin. Yeah. So I would, I would walk over. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to close the distance. That's what I, I missed is that you were closing oh, the distance. Oh, yes. Okay. No, I dropped wild shape and just. Okay. Very good. Very as, good. Like, Cause I'm like, you know, I should have you check with dexterity, but I would have given you an advantage no. on it. But in this case, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I ran to him as Vara dropped the horse form so I could use hands um, right. <laughs> and use the coin. As the coin touches Agrios, it it mixed between vanishes and appears to be absorbed within him. Mm. And he awakens. The wolf, well, both wolves, because you are now less than five feet away from both of them, as is Agrios, who is prone. Laura will take a like a defensive stance, like attack me instead, like stand over Agrios. Well, the uh, the blue wolf is going to attack Vara. The red oh. wolf is going to continue its feast on Agrios, not quite realizing that he has awakened. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't want that though. What if he doesn't do that? Uh, I think he's going to. What does he what does he roll? So the one that attacks Vara uh, does a uh, 23 hit. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. All right. Um, that is going to be seven necrotic damage. Cool. How do you do necrotic? Do you have personal rules about that? In this case, it's just going to be normal damage. It doesn't have any additional penalties right. with it. Yeah, all right. All right, Tam, talk to me. I've known you a long time, Sam. You know, I really Did like you. Did you just crit on me? What's going on here? You're a good friend. You know this, right? So. I have been up until this point. This, this is nothing personal. And I blame the red die. For the nat 20. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Tell me about the tell me about the damage. Let's talk. So Let's I talk believe I believe for us, uh, we were doing max damage plus die roll. Is that correct? Okay. So that is correct, yes. That's going to be 18 necrotic damage. Okay. That's not double my max HP, so I'm not dead dead. <laughs> dead. Right. Right. Uh, and it's just going to lunge for your throat and uh, bite deeply. All right. I'm, I, I'm down again if anyone wasn't clear on that. And it wasn't 60% of your normal health either, so it's not going to be a permanent scar or anything. So. Uh, 60 percent yeah eight well hold on let me think about that so what's your max my max is 28 so it might i think that is yes well yeah. hold on 50 yeah, is, is. yeah 60 percent is 16 or above yeah yeah or 17 or above yeah um we'll handle that uh after this when we get into what okay. the permanent damage is going to be yeah. Anyway, um, apparently Agrios is down. Uh, Vara has been bit. Uh, Agrios, it's your turn. You're down. I need a death saving throw, please. What else is new? No. That's a 17. All right, that's one up. Congratulations. Thanks. Tikaros. I don't want it. I don't like D&D &D anymore. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, action stations. This is bad. I am going to... I'm 10 feet away, if my calculations are correct, from all of my crazy movement last time. 10 feet away from the scene of this battle. So not... Tam checking if I run, no opportunity attacks for me at the moment. 
Does that track with you? You are not directly in melee range. That is correct. Okay. But Big Wolfie's staring at me, hopefully, because it just uh, No, Big Wolfie just took a chunk out of Vara. That's right. So he's, Checking he's... all of the things. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do is another scream at the Big Wolf. I'm going to try another intimidation. Okay. And try and get it to follow me, because then I'm going to turn and run towards camp. Okay. Yeah. Ugh, that's better. <laughs> 19 intimidation check. All right. Very good. And so you are going to dart off back towards camp? Yeah. So, screaming. Screaming. Ariana, <laughs> Ptolemaeus, prime. Ariana, Ptolemaeus, prime. Just chant, scream, chant, scream. Okay. That is Try going this. to allow you to go 40 feet. Because you did an action, so you're going to be able to run 40 feet, which is good. Oh, 35, so that gets you... 35 for me. Oh, 35. Okay. So yep. that's going to get you 45 feet away from the wolf. Okay. Which is Let's going to, which is, well, I'm not going to say what he's going to do yet because it's not his turn. Vara, you're up. <laughs> I am, I'm, let me pause just a moment. Um, Ptolemaeus and Ariana, you find yourselves awakened by Prime, who is shaking you. What? What is it? Um, Agrios, Vara, and Tikaros are missing. I was unable to wake Adrastos, um, and I just heard screaming from the woods. Which Good direction? Job, Prime. <laughs> um, well, uh, that way, the screaming? woods. Wait, but first of all, who's screaming? Because Agrius is like screaming up, what he's hunting. Has grabbed Ptolemaeus by the, like the scruff of his shirt and his blood. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm up to. <laughs> all right, so back into the action, Vara. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. Um, cool. Vara has like this emotional like panic of reviving this person and then them immediately going back down um and almost as if she can't control it uh she like a gust of wind bursts out at her um i i'm trying I, I know we're kind of we're theater of the mind a little bit is there a way for me to get both wolves or is there a way for me to get the wolf off of um agrios without gust of winding agrios um, well, the one of them, I'm, I'm going to say no, because the, the red wolf is right on top of Agrios, you know, gnawing on his neck. Uh, the blue one has moved past you a little ways to go. Well, no, it hasn't because she just did. Never mind. The blue one is right in front of you, uh, near the head. So yeah, the, both of them are together, but Agrios is right there as well. Yeah. I just, I don't have any good spells to damage or get away that wouldn't also Yeah, I mean, I guess bonus action, I'll go ahead and cast Healing Spirit. Okay. Um, and where are you placing this spirit? Just right on top of us, or right next to us, I would say. Uh, it's got to go in one of the five-foot squares. You have the five-foot square that's Agrios, and the two wolves are occupying pretty close to the same space. So I just need to, if you're planning it right there, that's fine. Are you putting it on Agrios's body or off to the side? Because he has to physically enter the healing spirit for it to do anything. So placing it on him wouldn't work? No, placing it on him to... would. Placing oh, it on him yes. would, yes. But anything yeah. within that five foot sphere, so. Also gets healed? No, right? It's just who anything I choose. That pass, anything that passes through it, I believe. I thought it was just allies. 
Whenever you were a creature you can see. Oh, oh okay. And yeah, anybody. Oh, all my spells are useless. I'm useless. <laughs> this sucks. If hey, I was a mean what? DM, I would have just nothing. said cast it and let it go. I wouldn't have warned you. Let's see, I'm nice. <laughs> It's so you have to make nothing. you have to make a choice. You can still heal Agrios. I have a good berry. <laughs> I just I, healing him won't do anything if they're just going to take him down with one hit the next turn. I mean, it's just a constant up and down, which I guess keeps him alive, but it keeps out of death saves. It yeah. does. It's better than where he is. Says a voice in your mind from nowhere. <laughs> I guess I guess I just cast Goodberry and I'm just gonna be standing here feeding him every time he gets fucking knocked out. <laughs> I like she's she's just she's just kind of panicking. And so she I'll, I'll go ahead and so I've got Goodberry. I've got 10 berries in my hand. Um yes, Ptolemaeus. And then if you'll allow me to bonus action feed, that would be great. I just want to understand the visual. That Vara is feeding Agrios a berry while there is a wolf I, directly I, on his throat. I can't do anything. <laughs> you're just, you're just, just flavoring oh. him for them. Just. Do you, I? I would recommend doing the healing spirit and then using your bonus action to move it five feet, and then Agrios can move into it on his next turn. Presumably. Does that make sense? Theoretically. In theory, I can move. <laughs> yeah, well, I, there's like no good options. Ugh. I mean, yeah, so I, I think that's the, the best of the worst. I could do the healing spirit somewhere else. Try to, I guess, use another coin. I really don't want to use another coin. No. Um, I don't, I don't have I think a healing of... spirit's your best. Greg Rios is now the most, most desired pinball game in the arcade. <laughs> Just keep throwing coins at it. But, but the ball keeps Just going in the all. gutter. Dude, Agrios is such a token taker. It sucks. <laughs> so what? So I'm a healing spirit. Just accept that the wolves are going to get healed. Um, now you had mentioned uh, going into chalice form earlier, but I don't believe you did. So are you going mm -hmm. into chalice form or not? Okay. <clears throat> um, I mean, I could. Have I used my? I haven't used my action yet. Um, so I would make the healing spirit be in this space, heal Agrius and the wolves, and then move it next turn. It's only five feet, so theoretically, you could you'll just get one of the wolves, right? Because the one wolf correct. is like on top I would say of yes, him, but the other one, correct. yeah, mm. okay. Okay. For going yeah. real hard, you can't share a space. <laughs> well, he's down, so you can't get share a space with one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yes. So action. This is my last wild shape though, because I stopped my wild shape, so I can't. Well, yellow. Yeah, okay. I ugh. Awful. 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 Okay. Um. Chalice form activate. And then. Healing spirit cast. So that'll be um, two healing to the wolf and Agrius. You that's all you rolled on your I mean what level did it's you only cast a D, it? It's only a D6. Only a D6. Okay. Even and then what, I mean it's a second it's a second level spell. It can only What did your chariot what did your uh chalice add to it? Uh, the chalice only heals me. Or ah. I guess whenever you cast a spell, you or another creature within 30 feet. Oh, okay, so I can do it on top of that. Um, so no, so it would be Agrios. Yeah, you can direct it to Agrios, yeah. Okay. So that would be a 1d8 plus 3, so 8. So you get 10 total hit points back. Oh, that's Excellent. nice. Thank you. I'm healed by 10. That's I'm nice. very good at making... Terrible combat <laughs> characters. I I just I just throw darts at a fucking spell book and assume that it'll work and it doesn't. Maybe. All right. Is that not how you're? Is that not how you're supposed to do it? 
Apparently not. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's all I can do, unfortunately. Am I alive enough to just still grip my shield enough to <laughs> have its plus two to AC? <laughs> um, well, I wish you hadn't said that because now I have to think about it as I take the part of the wool because they're up. All right. Uh, Go for it. So the first, what what is the shape of this healing spirit, by the way? Um, probably like a, like a mermaid or a siren. Okay. All right. Very good. I was thinking just a big fish. Flop <laughs> just like a salmon flops down on top of Agrios, like flopping around. <laughs> That's okay. Wolves like salmon too, so. There you go. Perfect yeah, I'd, ima I'd imagine it's like a mermaid and it's just kind of like kneeling down with Agrios. And... All right. Its well, tail resting <laughs> against him. <laughs> so uh, the first thing is Tikaros had rolled to get the attention of the blue one. Um, but I think everything that Vara has done is going to kind of compete for that attention. So I'm going to go ahead and roll against your check. I think you rolled. What did you roll? Uh, 19, I want to say. I think it was 19. Yeah. So. That's what I was remembering, but I didn't want to just. Yep. The wolf st starts to to move like that, and then the salmon begins flapping next to it, and its attention returns, and it notices the light return in Agrios's eye, but it also catches a moment of noticing that the red one. Some of its wounds appear to have healed a bit. <gasps> so it, it takes a moment. <sighs> and it, it, it has to theorize what's going on here. And since it was feeding on Agrios, it seems that that seems to be doing something very good for him. And he doesn't want Agrios to get up and get away from his partner. But he's also got to focus on the weird one, this this fish looking thing that now a salmon has appeared out of nowhere. I'm gonna let the dice decide. The blue one is going to uh go after Vara and the red one is going to go after Agrios. <sighs> and Agrios, you are currently and my dice skipped out of the tray, so I gotta reroll that one. Uh, so Vara, that is going to be a 22. Hits. Okay. That is going to be 7 necrotic damage. And Agrios, I'm afraid that's a 22. Yeah. Oh, the same thing on both dice. And that is going to be 7 necrotic damage. So good I'm news, you're still, still up. a bitch. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Run. <laughs> so, Agrios, you are prone, but you are conscious and being chewed on by a big wolf. Okay. Run through that fish. <laughs> and you're inside of a fish that's flopping. So. Agrios wakes up from... Uh, uh, wakes up again from this... <laughs> it... <laughs> From one nightmare into another. Um, <laughs> you know what? Am I still frightened? That's a question. No, you're not. You you got past that. So. You got past that. You're over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Now, you might still need to be, but you don't have the condition of now, frightened. Now the red wolf has been <laughs> the red wolf has been healed slightly, right? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. But he still looks pretty hurt, right? Uh, yes. Agrios is going to wake up, find this wolf gnawing on him, or trying to gnaw on him, and just reaches up, plants a hand on its side, and then leans in just enough to whisper a death curse in Minotaur and cast a second level inflict wounds. I want this thing dead. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, actually, just a first level in Six Wounds. I don't want to waste that. Okay. But let's see what we get. All right, so that is a melee spell attack. That is 15 to hit. That's a hit. That is going to be. <laughs> Everybody's like. <laughs> Come on, Apios. Eighteen necrotic damage. Holy guacamole! The wolf, while feeding on Agrios, suddenly stops, looks up, and you just see as fur begins to fall out and its face begins to wither, and it collapses to the ground. Yes. And then he's going to get up. Uh, with however much movement that takes. Half movement? Uh, Half, yeah. Yeah, feeling barely alive. So disengaging is an action, right? I already just took my action to attack. You took your action, that is correct. Okay. Um, so I don't have a bonus action, really, that I can take because uh, I cast a spell. Um, what can I do? Hold on, let me check something real quick. That's, no, that's only if I take the attack action. That was technically a cast a spell action. Um, I could try and run and just eat the attack of opportunity, but I don't know. Now that I'm not frightened anymore. So I've, and one of the wolves is dead. One of the wolves is dead. There's, an, there's one left. Agrios is back up and we have, I have friends here now, right? I've got Vara and Tikaros. Um, Do you have any bonus action cantrips? No, I don't have any bonus action cantrips. I don't think, now they're all one action. I should have taken one, but I didn't think about it. There's very few of them. Um, uh, I guess all I'm going to do is ready my shield and try and, uh, try and look cool, even though I'm so close to death still. Um, that's, that's it. That's my turn. At least one of them's dead. Yeah. Right. Very good. And with How that, far uh, I'm oh, saying you're still running a little ways. It took them a little while to catch up, so you're you're getting close. I'll put it that way. Um, Tikaros, I just have to hope that my friends heard that screaming. I'm gonna turn. I'm turning. I'm 45 feet away, so I'm gonna look at the remaining wolf and I'm gonna stride forward, like making a star shape in the air. I'm gonna stride forward about 15 feet as I walk, and I'm just gonna pump out a magic missile at this one remaining wolf. Okay. So I'm gonna get within 30 feet of it. Okay. Just to be clear. Very good. Magic missile. Oh, really bad rolls. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine damage with the All magic right. missiles as they hopefully just start making it look rough. Uh, it definitely, it definitely looks like it's been beat on a little bit. <laughs> well, hopefully that hurt and it turns around. <laughs> that's it. That's my move. That's it. <laughs> All right. Vara. Z said I didn't have to heal the wolf. Because the wording is actually, I choose to heal. The wolf creatures. is dead anyway. It's okay. I know, but yeah, I just. <laughs> okay. Um, what? So we have blue wolf where in regards to me? Uh, it would be right next to you. It's kind of between you and Ag or Agros, you and it are all within five feet of each other. So. Okay. 
Um, so how, okay, is Agria still within the healing spirits area? Uh, actually, you haven't, you haven't moved it, so yes. Perfect. Um, so Agria gets another D6. Let's do that. That's a four. So you get four healing. I'll take it. I get you up to what? Seven or eight. So, you know. Seven. Yep. That's about how much it usually hits for. So <laughs> that's good. Um, and then let's see. I will use what's my best. I will go ahead and use Guiding Bolt at second level mm -hmm. on the wolf. It's an eight. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm doing math. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> TM takes psychic damage. Okay, we're good. <laughs> It was an eight to hit. It didn't hit. Yeah. Um. That was my action. Yeah. I, and then. I guess I'll. I think I'll just leave the sphere where it is. So, no bonus okay. action. That'll be okay. that. Very good. Uh, about this moment, uh, Ariana and Ptolemaeus press the the hill back where Vara and Tikaros first saw what was going on here. So what you see ahead of you is, in the distance, you can make out Vara, Tikros a little bit closer to you. There's what appears to be a large white wolf in front of her, uh, Agrios, who is now standing, I believe, he stood up, and uh, a flappy salmon on the ground, large flapping salmon <laughs> on the ground ahead of you. And you are a good 200 feet away. Cool. And I will bring you in. Let's bring you in at Tikaros's initiative just because we're getting close to wrapping this thing up. I think so. I mean, there's only one wolf left to uh, gnaw on Agrios at this point, or Vara. <laughs> Seeing his fellow wolf fall. This wolf is going to take a couple of steps, look between Vara and Agrios, see the two coming over the hill, and he is going to let out a howl that echoes in the heads of Vara, Tikaros, and Agrios. And I need a wisdom saving throw, please. 16. Okay. 10. Okay. Six. All right. Agrios, you've heard this before. You you recognize what it is, and you know where it's coming from. It's coming from Big Bad Wolf in front of you. Uh, Vara and Tikaros, on the other hand, you suddenly feel very scared by this, but you also find yourself unable to move. You're restrained. You don't seem to have what it takes to run away. Or run towards or anything. And that wolf is going to kind of snap and snarl at Agrios. It's not going to move out of melee range, but it's going to move right to the edge. So it, it can still attack, but it's just kind of backing away from you with its heads down, Agrios. And you're up. Okay. All right, so as I recall before, it wasn't hurt very much by non-magical attacks. Okay. 
<laughs> maybe maybe it just is wasn't that, hurt is that, are you attempting to uh find out if you observe this and you're trying to confirm it with the dm uh maybe <laughs> that's just what i remember um uh, i was gonna say because you could you could always you know insight this to see if what you gain from this what is that what is that what is that insight that do what i'm sorry the, is that going to cost me any kind of action to insight that or can i just try I'm, that i'm gonna say i'm gonna say it'll take your bonus action so you'll still have an action oh no I, i'm not giving up my bonus action okay. we're gonna try this um <laughs> <sighs> i heard that <laughs> a laugh snort i try to mute before i do that but it doesn't always work uh -oh. <laughs> It's All not right. a bug, it's a feature. No, yeah, I'm going to leave that hand free, and I'm going to use it for casting more spells. Now, the question is, do I try, do I use my last second level spell slot to just pump everything into another inflict wounds and see how much damage I can hit this thing with? I might as well at this point. I'm feeling desperate. No, you're shaking your you're shaking your head. No, you don't no, like do it. Do it. Do it. No, no, no. I I'm love doing it. it so I, I'm, I'm panicking. Doing it That's he, all. <laughs> he killed the last one with with an inflict wounds. Now he's going to try and do, do a stronger one. Yeah. As he continues, as his his previous whispers of death cur death curses now ri rise to uh, shouts. His uh, the emblem of Mogus on the shield glowing red as he reaches forward, an aura of darkness around his hand trying to grab this other wolf. Please, oh, please, oh, please. Yeah, that's a 19 to hit. That's an absolute hit. And that's going to be 4d10. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven necrotic Whoa. damage. That was a really good roll. The wolf looks at you and kind of winces in pain as fur falls off of it, and you see as veins pop out and, and skin recedes on it. And then it just looks at you and growls. He growls back. <laughs> uh, that's going to be my turn. All right. Tikaros, you're up. Wow. That's one good hunt, Agrios. I'm so stressed. I've got out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. She's just got to keep attacking. She will throw another magic missile and she's going to use her last second level spell for it. This is it. Let's go. Rah! Lemon top. That's a good one. 14 damage from four little darting starry punches. Tell me what happens as these hit the wolf and take him down. Tikaros just gives out a battle cry like, like Agrius would. Just as roaringly loud through the forest as that wolf howl was in her head. And she just stands there screaming. That's basically it. <laughs> I love it. All right. You are out of initiative. The wolves are down. Oh, that was stressful. Well, thank you all for coming. That one's your secret. If you'll excuse me for a moment. He reaches over and grabs the one that he killed by the tail, drags it away a bit, and starts preparing the burnt offering to Mogus. Oh. Right. Hikaros will come forward and go, Gee, I wonder what Krufix would want. A tooth? A piece of hide? A claw? 
and she'll start just to get out a little dagger and start maybe hacking away to try and get a tooth out of its mouth like as a trophy. She's just kind of in a little bit of shock and like right, she'll just hack away at this tooth. Give me a survival check with advantage on this. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, natural 17. I'll take that. Just I would 17. Say that's, I would say that's good enough. You get to take the uh, tooth of your choice. Oh. The biggest and most disgusting right. one. Yeah. <laughs> one of those long front ones. I take it. All right. Very good. Ariana comes skidding into the... <laughs> <laughs> is, is everyone okay? I'll just be I'm like... take that back, as a no. I can't even, I can't even <laughs> run that much faster. <laughs> And Prime, Prime keeps running a little ahead of you, Ptolemaeus, but when he sees that you fall behind, he slows down and lets you get a little bit ahead of him. But then he runs and he gets... <laughs> no, it's okay. Just keep going. It's fine. I'm almost there. It's just... How long does it take me to build the fire, by the way, Tam, to sacrifice this thing? There's enough trees and, and dead wood and stuff around. I don't think it would take you more than oh, 10 Oh, yeah, and he has, he has like, some hatchets that uh, Drastos gave him as well. So awesome. take one of those out. Excellent. So at some point when one of you runs up, you just see whoosh <laughs> as the fire starts in front of him. <sighs> um, did, did Vara or Tigros take damage? No, surprisingly. Laura took some, but I don't know if she healed it. Um, no, I didn't. Your little pond is still there. I guess you can still. You can step inside your salmon. <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Or yes, your salmon. Sorry, my ranger has a pond. I was like, Sa yeah, it's salmon, a pond, salmon enchanted evening. I tend to, yeah, I get, I get technically oh. two more heals with it. So if we just want to say that I heal twice with it. Then we can do that. Yeah, you can always do that. Because yeah, cool. Actually, there's some Ariana. rules around that that came out with ta with uh, Tasha's, I think. But whatever. Tasha's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's like doing that thing, like where you're trying to get into double dutch, <laughs> except it's waiting for Agrios to finish <laughs> his <laughs> thing. <laughs> she's not gonna interrupt him, but. <laughs> So I healed four. I'm ten minutes down, but okay. You're you're, you're some down. Yeah, I'm ten points down. But Vara doesn't. Okay. She's not. She's kind of quiet. She's not really seeking uh, healing or anything. So she she stepped into the healing spirit and it kind of disbanded. And she's just kind of standing there quietly. But before she goes to Agrios, because she knows Agrios needs his time, um, she would be doing like like mom checks on people like making sure you're okay and she'd probably like lift your arm to a point when you you know so um yeah take a cure wounds which will be uh nine it's nine it's nine, it's nine healing <laughs> Ooh, yeah that's basically up to max Vara kind of smiles and looks thankful um and if you ask like little questions she'll just kind of like yeah i'm, I'm good i'm all right And she'll kind of keeping an eye on Vara out of the corner of her eye to make sure she's okay. Yeah. Um, but is now waiting for Agrios to finish. <laughs> so Agrios, uh, what are you going to put on the fire? The wolf that I personally killed. All right. Put its corpse on there. Give it as a burnt offering. Take some of its blood to repaint. A stripe on my face again. Okay. This time, mix. You know, I'm going to mix it in with a little of my own blood from my wounds. Very good. All right. I think Tikaras would copy. She would go to the wolf that she killed and she would do exactly the same thing that Agrios <laughs> is doing. <laughs> I love her so much. Holly's gonna finally make it to everybody and I'll just be like <laughs> all, right. all right. So what happened? I I I'm I'm guessing 
Everybody's okay. <sighs> yes, no. Should I just go back? I go back to camp. Don't go, don't go back alone. Just wait a second. <laughs> I'll come with you. I need some sleep. Well, this tomorrow is not going to be very good at all. No, I suppose it wouldn't. Um, Argus, do you need some more time? Or Schneck? Why don't we just go together? Stay together this time. Oh. I think with that, the ritual is complete. Uh, thank you. Uh, may, may, may I? May I? Yes. <laughs> uh, take 15, lay on hands. Uh, and uh, 11 your wounds. So 26 total. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't need all that, but thank you. Should have rolled cure wounds first. Well, let's say I did your wounds first. That's 11. How much do you need after that? Uh, after that, I only t need 10. Perfect. Wonderful. Cool. Thank Good. you. Oh. And she'll, uh, give Vara a little squeeze on the shoulder for another point. Because <laughs> I think you were only one point down, right? Yeah. Perfect. I, Take one more. I had a thought. <laughs> Next time I want to go away from camp, I'm going to consult with the bands to see if it would be a good idea or a bad one. That is a good idea. You don't even need the bones to tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they were like leather strips or bands, uh, Actually, right, they're, 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 they're like red bones. Oh, red they're red or, bones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bones. Bones. Okay, bones. sorry, yeah. bones. Yes, oh, that's better. I do like that. Oh, sorry, I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Yeah, they're like chips of bone. I just take one of us to help you, just in case. Hunting buddies. We're friends now. Why should, do you keep ignoring us? Should should we not have left Adrastos alone sleeping back at camp? Oh, he's oh he'll be fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, think how embarrassing it would be for him if he died in his sleep. <laughs> Ariana turns and starts jogging back to camp. <laughs> it's like, fair, but and I'll just also turn back into camp. <laughs> yep. yep. Go running back to camp. Back to camp. <laughs> I have no idea why, but it feels like every single time I'm not conscious. Someone almost <laughs> dies. And there was something. I think... Yes? No, you go ahead. No, I, I just personally think that maybe when we're trying to do something very dangerous, if there are, could be potential that we uh, wake up the person that could help in that situation, it would be great as well. I mean, either me or Ari Ariana. And I just kind of look over, and everyone is like, probably gone by now. <laughs> Maybe either of us would help, you know, in, in a well, I'm, more of a. I'm not used to having these sort of, I don't know, friends. Sorry. I'm not either. And now that we're together uh, as a group, I figure I might as well pull my own weight. Hmm. All right. I hear you. I understand. By the way, those were very strange wolves, weren't they? The fact that they were white? The, white the fact that they're quite... white and extremely formidable. Large. I think it has anything to do with all the, uh, the strange happenings on with that creature that you tangled with in the water mm. and everything. Um, maybe not, but could be. 
Still, I wonder what they are. Damn, would I know anything about such wolves? Or, um, or do it? If... I think this would fall under a nature kind of a check, uh, if you knew anything okay. about them at all. Or could divine, or, well, divine's not the right word, but determine anything about them, discriminate anything. Right. I don't have nature. I don't know if anyone else does. In... Nope. I, None of I, us are. I have, I have half proficient. But you can always roll it whether you're proficient or not. So. Okay. In that case, I'll roll it. Yeah, you got. just don't get the bonus on it. So, yeah. You never know. Uh, nope. That's not going to do it. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> Was I'm it less than a 10? I get a good shot. It's certainly less than a 10. Okay. It's a bubble yeah. one. I'll give you that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, probably not going to yeah. do it then. So they are, they are rather large wolves um they have yellow eyes which is a bit unusual um and yeah that's all you're going to get with that with that nature check so yes. did anybody else investigate them or was that it because i know ariana's already trying to find out if adrastos is still there or if he's been I wasn't dragged off them and i don't think i was gonna oh well okay. tikaros tikaros was like getting the tooth out would she have maybe had a chance to notice anything she was all up in one yeah uh, that's that's worth a shot yeah so for you would, um, if they you were might... doing magic type things or like like supernatural type things would would one of the three that were there be able to do arcana sure if they realized that that was happening i mean it, it would seem to me like they were well, because a, a number of them were affected by it, correct? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If anyone wants well, to do Arcana, rather than nature. Right. My only, the only religion I'm, or sorry, the only knowledge I'm trained in, right in slip, is religion. <laughs> the only religion I'm trained in is nature, wait. <laughs> yeah, knowledge. <laughs> That's Vara. That's a druid. Yeah. Vara, <laughs> yeah. No, well, Tikaros got a nine for that check. Yeah, I mean, uh, it big, big wolf, big T. They're wolves. That's what you know. Yeah. Um, all right. Well then. Time for sleeping. It's a mystery. Time for sleeping. Uh, okay. yeah, I'm good too with that too. Okay. Fine by me. So everybody's just walking, starting to walk back, correct? Yes. Uh, Prime is going to look and go, and as he's walking away, he's going to look back and go, weren't you hunting though? Don't you want, Never mind. The question, is there, is there enough, uh, of a period of time where we would need like a third watch? Uh, yeah, when you get back, because this, this whole thing with the running and all, I'm going to give credits 20 to 30 minutes of time. Okay. In that case, so. while we're walking back, I was like, I'll just go over and look at Prime. I'll just, I'll take the third watch, but Prime, could you possibly keep me company then? Of course. All right. Then everybody just, let's head back. Oh, yeah. Get some rest. Prime made a good point about the um about the hunting. Should we have taken the unburnt wolf back on like my back or something? I mean, I do have the carrying capacity for it, probably. Uh, I mean, presumably we could have taken it back to camp and butchered it, but at some point. But also, you killed it, and it was also using uh killed it with necrotic damage, and also was using necrotic damage. Uh, technically, Tikaro, game, technically just... Tikaros killed it. Yeah, fair enough. I dealt necrotic damage to it. <laughs> <laughs> the meat might we'll be just a little cut tough. away all the rotting parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll yeah. just get rid of the meat that's no good. It's like instant dry age, you know. That's what I was. I was just about <laughs> exactly. to say, isn't it just dry aging? It? <laughs> if you buried it and put it in a container for a month and did it, you know, it'd be fine. It'd be nice fermented, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's what. 
night like it's you know that's what you do when you bury it so exactly it's like necrotic yeah. damage make make your own uh what is it hundred year eggs or something you know yeah. exactly look yeah. i'm doing it i'm just putting it on my back i can carry it <laughs> i've got the carrying capacity fair, fair point fair, fair enough so you're going to drag it back drag. okay very good okay. yeah i can push right. drag or lift up to 960 pounds apparently well, yeah. I, I think it's well within that weight range, and uh, especially now that part of it's necrotized away, uh, and it's missing a tooth. So uh, you... Uh, a heavy tooth. Yeah, heavy tooth. You make <laughs> your way back to camp, and Adrastos is still sleeping away. Uh, fortunately, he was not eaten by anything during the night, which is good. And all is quiet. I want to make my perception check now for the... For the watch. Yep. I've I've got to say, is. this was all I I I rolled for each step of the watch, and this was just going to be a random encounter in the night on one of the watches, until somebody decided to leave camp. <laughs> and I'm in, like, in my in my defense, I, I I in my defense, I usually go hunt something at night, and it's never been something that could really fight back like this. This, this is the uh -huh. most interesting it's ever been. Yes. Interesting is a good word. Yeah, yeah, that's a good I, word. Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. In, in character, I'm sure all of us are a little... Ooh. Players, I'm sure we could all say, that was fucking awesome and totally was great. worth it. It was yeah, great. It was, it was it was a fun scenario. Oh, so good. Just oh, feel man. bad that two of you didn't really get in on it. <laughs> it's totally fine. I Did you, Vara didn't I even get in on it either, and she was there. So oh, Vara was just trying. Vara was just trying to keep me uh, standing, or at least breathing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. That is. Agrios would be dead if you hadn't shown up. So. Yeah, thank you for that. I, I, oh, I would. Just, I would be. Yes. I hope so. Sometimes uh, it's just I for you. Yeah. So. <laughs> My yes. spells are. Hey, ugh. you have an in character reason to do it now. I do. Dude, Vara is depressed. Vara is soul searching right now. <laughs> this is like oh, the second no. time Agrios has nearly died near her. My uh, perception is 18, by the way. All right. The night is is fairly quiet. Um, a good hour passes, and then I would be talking to uh to Prime though. I wanted to to mention something to him. Uh, okay. to, to Prime, uh, just like look over to him. It's just I I have a curiosity, Prime. Yes. Do you understand the machinations of how you were created? Do you? Do you know how you were created? To, to an extent. Mm -hmm. But more so, I meant the technology and the study of the technology that brought you to life. I would say I have a... I have a fundamental inherent knowledge of of how Perforos and his followers forged the anvil rot. Um, however, and pardon me for supposing what I'm about to say, because it, it has been a matter of contentious debate, uh, specifically between uh, Nyctos, uh, my, my maker, and and the rest of the Council of Melitus, that I am, of all the created Anvarots, I seem to be more sentient <laughs> than most. Um, now, the Council and many um, say that that's, it's just an anomaly, that it's, it's flaws <laughs> and, and not anything to count, but I feel well. I feel that I feel, um, which is different. And I have spoken to Nyctos as he was. He, please understand. He reforged. I should start at the beginning. Um, 
are, are you aware of Nyctos? Do you, do you know of whom I refer? Yes. Yes. I have an understanding. Uh, and you know that he lost a son. Yes. Yes. And uh, they never found the body. I'm aware of that. And no sign. It's, there was concern he, he ran away, but then there was more that he had perished. And so they'd found information from some of the children in Melitus that he had been playing with them and fell into a well and they attempted to save him, but were unable to reach him. And they went for help, but they weren't able to get back in time and uh, um but anyway to do with oh uh this this is to in manner of explanation um niktos um he was a very sad unhappy um disappointed and he went on a journey to try and find understanding in this loss he 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 wound up at the forge perforos and well working with them he he was deep inside the mountains in the streams that flow out from the forge uh, one of them supposedly feeds this very river or fed i guess now that it's flowing the other way I, anyway um, and while there, he came across parts, components of a prior creation of Perforos that apparently had been forgotten and left. Um, and he collected them and set about learning to forge and repaired the pieces. And that that he repaired was me. And I see. we spent many hours together. <laughs> and I don't know at exactly what point, but at some point during this process as he worked to repair me, um, he apparently was speaking in, in mid-sentence. <laughs> I, I gained an awareness, but I was unable to communicate to Nyktos, but he, he spoke a lot of his son and the mistakes he had made and that he wished that if there was some way, if the gods would will it, and oh, he prayed to, he prayed to many of the gods as he was forging that if he could make a body for his son would Erebos allow him to return and I suppose when I awoke he made the presumption that his prayer had been answered So I just know that between one hammer blow and the next, I was awake. I, I don't know that I am his child. I have no memory of him or mother or of anyone. So if I am, I, I've tried to be a good son to him. But when brought to Melitus, there was much debate, and he was somewhat ridiculed for it, but no one wanted to condemn him openly because of his sorrow. But so I suppose that in place of his son, I am his son. I feel, I feel as if 
gods are such cruel, cruel masters. And we're just puppets. Comedy, tragedy. Fills their stage. It's funny you should say that. That is... That is how they referred to me as a puppet and not an individual That's soul. That's nonsense. You experience things, right? Well, but all things experience things. The tree experiences things. You feel them, though. You truly feel them. The experiences that you've had with us, traveling with us, Speaking with us. The fun you've had with us. You feel those. I would say that I do, but there are those who would say that it's merely an impression that I am designed to interact with, not that... They could say whatever they want. It doesn't change what you feel. I appreciate that. I would like to think that's true. I would like to think that not just I, but all Anvil Rot have are living, are 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 real. Then then it's settled. You are living. You are real. With the experiences that you've had with all of us. You're like a brother. You're like a brother to me, then. Oh, thank in you. In more ways than one. Um, more ways, I'm not sure I understand, but I thank you. Brother. My son's about up. I should probably wake the rest of them up. Certainly. And he will... I'm just going to walk back into to uh, camp, okay. making sure nothing is there or anything. All right. And he will stand up and look around and follow you in and uh, begin preparations for breakfast, much as he always has back at the house and everywhere he's ever been. The only other thing is that... Uh, I would walk into the camp muttering to myself uh, some secrets aren't just aren't, aren't meant to be said and just continue on right. so I believe you were going to wake everyone up as yep. morning has come I'll be nice about it because there's been a lot of screaming and shaking on on waking people up these days and I'll just very try to gently wake everybody up one, one at a time just it's time to get going guys well Prem's getting breakfast ready has there been enough time for a long rest yeah Absolutely. You would Thanks. sleep in late if you needed to, <laughs> beyond a doubt. You're, I think you're... I was going to say, Tikaros will. She will, like, resist getting up. <laughs> it's like, no, Tikaros, it's time. We should probably wake no. up. No, no. <laughs> no. I just realized, can I, can I have taken my battle axe with me last night, or do I have to go back and get it? I would assume you wouldn't leave it behind. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Just dropped it. I'm like, yeah, I'll get it later. Yeah, so, I, I, I meant to say that before I left the scene, but uh, <laughs> didn't say it. So very so kind of RG. You were going to attempt to salvage uh, meat, I believe, from this wolf. Yes, I was. So uh, let's have a survival check. But because right. it has been so damaged by the battle and the necrotic uh -oh. damage, do it with disadvantage, please. Uh-oh. Okay. In that case, I'd like to cast Guidance on myself beforehand. 
<laughs> okay. With disadvantage, that's going to be. Five plus five is ten plus three is a thirteen. That's not bad, really. Uh, there's a lot of waste. There's a lot damaged, but you are able to, let's say, provide three meals worth of meat out of this for the party. So that's not bad. I mean, it was a large wolf. So. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> what are you going to do with the remains? I mean, they're not really fit for a sacrifice. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> okay. Just piled up on the... Uh... Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. All right. Something's so... got to feed the vultures and the worms. <laughs> so the meal is prepped. Breakfast is had. Is there anything anyone else wants to do before you set out towards data? Time to hit I'm the ready. road. Mm -hmm. Ariana's probably going to sidle up to Vara. <laughs> Be like, morning. Uh -huh. How you feeling? Uh, good morning. I'm all right. Yourself? I'm good. I didn't face off against two horrifying beasties last night, and I didn't look as down in the dumps as you did. Um, oh, uh, sure. Um, it's just a stressful situation, I suppose. Very. Um, I don't know. I, I've had this talk before. I think I even had it with Agrius, but I just, I don't know. I've never really done combat like this. Usually I have people arming cannons <laughs> or, or things like that. So um, harpoons, it's just. That, that uh, is the intelligent way to do this. Yeah. Those of us that run to the front aren't the smart ones. I suppose. I just, I don't know. I I saw he was hurt and I ran in to help him and then I didn't really feel like I did much. And this isn't the first battle that has felt like this. I don't know. Agrios, from what I've heard, wouldn't have been alive without you. So, you think so? I think you did pretty well. I... Maybe, you know, I, as a follower of Athreus, I, I believe that, well, I've really, a lot of my spells and things that I've focused my time on honing uh, are practical or damage or simply just getting things away from me. I, I've, I've never really paid much mind to healing um, because it's just, it, well, it doesn't quite align with my interests, to be honest. I believe that when people are called to die, they die. And all I can do is help them pass and, and let them go to the rightful place. Uh, I don't necessarily want to personally have a hand in that. And, and if someone is easily able to be saved, then they should be saved. But I just... I don't know, I've been on crews and, and been a captain and had captains and I don't know. I, I've i never really had people that I, I wanted to be a healer for. And you all make me want to heal or, or to fight better or something. I don't know, I just, I want to work on myself. I think it's an admirable goal. I don't know. I just, I, I, I don't know. I need to protect you all. 
And I just, I, I want to do everything I can to get better at that. Well, there are plenty of us to help assist in, in learning different things. You have many experts in many different fields of both protection and, and uh, Adrastos, very good at that. Want to get better at hurting things. Agrios, very good at that. And you want to get better at surprising people. Tikros, very good at that. Better at strategy. You have Ptolemaeus. Sure. There are plenty of people here that if you want to get better at any one particular thing or a number of things, we're all here to help you because you don't have to just save us. We're here to protect you as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I'll, I'll think on it. Of course. And trust me, I have trained many a people in many a thing and you are good at what you do and if you don't cross train into anything else you are perfect and a valuable asset the way that you are oh thank you yes. if you need anything you know where i am probably 10 feet in front of you I, yes i appreciate that of course and then she'll go boot Adrastos to clean him up. <laughs> Who silently gets up and follows the party silently. Looks like a zombie. He's real sleepy kitty. Yeah. <laughs> you walk and the road has become smoother. It's more of a nice path. It's level and you begin to move through various farmlands. And after about half a day's travel, you move into an area and you, you see crops, but you see that some, it looks like something had trampled through a field. And there are a couple of people a ways away and you can hear that, you can't quite make out what they're saying, but you can hear they're having a bit of a heated argument. One of them is carrying a, a bow, of a very large sized bow. And the person he's speaking with, the one who is being the loudest in this, is just waving his arm frantically and just appearing very frustrated about what's going on. If you continue straight down the path, you'll go by them. You'll be, you know, several hundred feet away. You may not be able to make out what they're saying or not. But there's definitely frustration in this, and you can definitely, as you get closer, see where the crops have been ravaged. As I see this, the first thing I'll just kind of look over at everybody and just like, there's a part of me that wants to continue forward because I feel like that's going to be very important. But there's also another part of me that's wondering whether or not any of this is connected, if there is some sort of unnatural dispute. Hopefully it's not the case, but what does everybody think? Should we intervene? If only to find out what's going on. Just in case. Just in case it's something unnatural. If, if we Are we it... above? Sorry. I was just going to say, if we, if we think it applies to what we're already trying to get to, or it could be worse than maybe, but we've got a lot of plates we're spinning at the moment, so we kind of have to pick our battles. So what seems the most pressing? Agrius? But are we above uh, interfering in the uh, affairs of, uh, the petty affairs of, of random people? I think not. Besides, it looks like they're about to fight. And oh, yes, we could watch course. that. <laughs> the girls, you've been spending too much time with Agrios. <laughs> I know, right? She just stares at you with the dried blood from last night on her face. I really like that. You've done a good <laughs> job. I can Thank teach you. you some prayers if you'd like. 
<gasps> I'm trying to learn a how to be of Mogus by the end of this. No, no Mogus, but pa- I want to be <laughs> pious. Yes, we will do that at night. Yeah, I'll convert yet. I have a good feeling. You can try. If the suggestion that I had, albeit starting quite noble, has <laughs> diverted into something a little less so. Um, but I still think we should check it out. I agree with you, Ptolemaeus. And yes, Vara, we have many plates spinning. I agree. However, I feel that everything we've come across has been put in front of us as if by some divine being leading us down a specific path that we're meant to follow. Now you're <laughs> getting it. Ah, yes. Seems like it. Yeah, that's a fair point. <laughs> uh, perhaps we should at least ask them what's going on. I agree. I'm so glad you the gods are leading every action you take. You seem so doubting last night. You must have really found some confidence. It was in seeing your devotion, Agrios. Well, I do live to be a good example to others. And apparently die for it, too. Oh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I haven't done that yet. <laughs> well, you've tried. <laughs> 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 you collective sure voice in our head says blessed <laughs> are the martyrs no I'm just kidding um, <laughs> but or not I still think we have an obligation to see things through and if it has anything to do with our current path I'd be remiss to say that I well let's not miss anything and I'll just keep going forward All right. Towards the argument, I mean. Okay. All right. Um, as you get closer, and uh, you're going to have to cross part of the field to get to them. That's already been damaged. So. Uh, you... If if we're crossing to that field, can I actually just check what damage the fields if we're crossing through the field? Absolutely. Give me a nature check. Okay. Or survival. Those. I'll go with either one of those in this case. It's the same bonus. <laughs> uh, 11? Mm, the, it appears as though it's been trampled by something and maybe a herd of somethings. Okay. All right. This, sound, this is getting to sound a little bit more mundane, but it's okay. We're going to keep on going. As you get closer, you, the person uh, pleading with the one with the bow, um, he, his language is going all over between the, the local dialects of Akros, and he keeps using these words that are, are the ancient language. They're you, something about Likos, Dragon Likos is what you hear. And once you get close enough, you, you recognize on the shoulder of the one with the bow, he is wearing the symbols of the rangers of Akros. So he is part of their military that is responsible for maintaining the peace and protecting the harbor of data. So, Ariana, you would be aware of this, too, that they, they, they very much protect their primary port, <laughs> data. So they would be concerned about the lands in between. And as you approach, the ranger turns and looks in the, um, who are you? Ariana Vakros. <laughs> yes, we are uh, a collective of, of, of travelers that saw a dispute and was wondering if there was anything that we could assist with. No, thank you. It's just a it's just a situation of, of some wild game. And at that point the other person is going to burst and it's not wild game, it's these animals it was the light of Karametra in the sky, and that called these animals across my field. And 
I, I've offered my sacrifices to the Rogan Lycos, and they normally protect the field, but for some reason they didn't show up last night. Could you describe these creatures, or did you actually get to see any of them? Well, they're, they're, they're wolves. They're the, the, the gifts of the god. They're large white wolves with yellow eyes who were put here to protect. They, they work under the, the auspice of Kerametra. Oh. See. We we encountered, I think, some of those wolves last night. They were aggressive. Well, they protect the lands. They they must have been upset over the game. Cam, hmm. I have to ask, can we tell which division of the Acroan military this guy is from? This ranger is from? Uh, well, he's part of the ranger group, so it's right, that this, is their the purpose is to go across this, and basically, yeah, yeah. Just there are three kinds. Mm -hmm. There's one kind that Ag the Agrius particularly does not like. <laughs> uh, which one is that? Because I don't know which one. The Alamon. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it, it would. For yeah. a split second, I thought that the, whatever stampeded through was the uh, well. Never, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, he's he's sorry. more he's more on the Stratian side than anything. Right. Um, to the ranger, say, um, well. There have been a number of strange happenings um, from celestial origins, and um, it would not be far off if what this man says is true. It's also in line with the happenings that we are trying to investigate. Such but, as I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Rangers go this, but sorry, but um, you say that you saw these wolves and they were aggressive. What happened? Uh, well, we encountered a few in the night, um, Agros specifically, uh, and she'll kind of motion towards him. Uh, was hunting and they came upon him and nearly killed us. They, they were very aggressive. And we, I mean, we were camping. I, I guess you could say we were imposing on the lands, but we hadn't harmed anything or, or I don't believe Agrios had even hunted yet. No. They, they just appeared and, and viciously attacked. We were able to... Sorry, Sorry, go ahead. They were not normal wolves. Massive, white, hardy, and formidable, and with a howl that would shake you to your core and leave you unable to even move. I, I see, but what, what happened to the lichens? He's asking about the wolves. Um, uh, we slew two of them that we encountered. He's going to just kind of straighten up, and you see as his hands kind of go back on, on his bow. <clears throat> and the farmer, the farmer's just staring at you, <laughs> jaw kind of dropped. You, you killed them? We had to in defense. Yes, and then I sacrificed one of them to Mogus. Oh, probably. Uh, we'll work on what we tell strangers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Certain things, yes. Uh, we should keep to ourselves. But to to Mogus, but Karametra is going to be. 
And the farmer just kind of looks around at his fields. We're, we're first now. And he starts oh. to walk away. I might as well just burn the fields. Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say that. In fact, I don't really think you're cursed. I mean, these wolves, like you said, are protectors, but they wouldn't normally aggress in such a way. We would not have killed them if, if not for the safety of our own lives. Uh, I don't think that would be Karametra's doing. I mean, she... They wouldn't have, why would they come after you unless you're evil? Unless Karametra... Ranger, kill them! Oh, I definitely don't think we should do that. Um, there have been multiple issues that we've been investigating regarding people posing as the gods or interfering with things in a way that perhaps a god would <clears throat> to cause trouble either to us or to other people, to various cities. You, you perhaps have heard about the happenings in Akros or or the Atlantan. Um, yes, the gods, the gods are angry. The ranger's just standing there kind of gripping his bow and just watching everything going back and forth. <clears throat> they, they are, and things are a mess, but they aren't gone. Um, she's going to cast Bless on the farmer. Okay. To hopefully bring him a spark of Eros. Okay. <laughs> and maybe try to convince him that we're not evil and that he should believe us I think and not this have is... the guy kill us. I think this is an advantage to persuasion kind of check. Fantastic. Sounds like to me. I'll take it. Uh, that is a 12 and an 11. Um, but with persuasion, that is a 17. Nice. It's going to... Maybe you're right. I'll just... I'll make an offering to Karametra. Maybe she'll... She'll give this... You sacrificed to Mogus. <laughs> just we, we all we all follow different gods uh, before you go um <laughs> you mentioned another name could you clarify what name oh you mentioned karametra but then you also said a sacrifice to a different name it was two words mm, oh, had an two. l in it what was oh two to the Rogan like us, the Rogan wolf. Oh. Yes, the, the wolf. Sacrifice we, to the wolves. We leave sacrifices at the edge of our fields and they protect them. They protect our fields from, from the beasts. Have you left a sacrifice recently? Always. Always. Is it, is it still there? Did they take it? I Have don't know. I don't know. And he'll start to walk and the ranger will, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, I will go with you just in case. I'd, I'd be interested in finding that out in case that helps us figure out why the wolves attacked him the way they did, if, if you don't mind us joining. All right. So he will walk and it's going to be down a little ways from where you've gone, but not quite back towards the road, towards the edge of a field. And you can see a small that has been built there, a little stand. And when you get there, there is meat and fruits and vegetables that have apparently been lying out there for at least 24 hours. And they've never not accepted the sacrifice before. They, they've, always, they've always taken the offering. Mm. What have I done to anger the gods? You have done nothing. Something is afoot. This is not your doing. You have done right by them. I agree. I I mean this is this is just a completely separate situation. I don't blame yourself. He's gonna walk over and Pick up a piece that's on the far side of this, you know, pyre, this altar that has been built there, and pick it up. 
and he's going to put it back in to the ground. And it's a hand woven cornucopia that he apparently has made, kind of an emblem of wow. Parametra that would have sat over the altar. And it looks like it's been trampled to the ground, like something may have stepped on it. Can I figure out what stepped on it? Absolutely, you can look at it and check that out. What would that can be? Help? I'm sorry? Can Go I ahead, help Holly. that? Uh, okay. Uh, it's going to be an investigation. Whichever of you has the higher modifier, roll with advantage. Could I do survival because it's a track? Absolutely. Sick. Same thing. Oh. Whoever has the highest modifier with the can I, can I help survival with survival? Yes, absolutely. Whoever has I'll, the higher modifier uh -huh. rolls. Well, with we have the same, so I'll I'll <laughs> help her. No. Right. You you get advantage. Okay, well, good, because the first one wasn't that one. Ba -ba -ba. The next one is a 19, so that'd be 24. All right. It's a, it's a little hard to tell just from the cornucopia, but you can see where it was lying on the ground as well. And the ground is softened a bit because recent rains to help the crops grow here. The blessing of Karametra. And it's a hoof print. Um, not quite the s larger than the one from Tikaros, but smaller than that of, um, say, a Minotaur. How, or how familiar. <laughs> I would, I, Vara wouldn't even say anything. She'd just start tracking it. It's almost, almost like she sees it and then, like, cartoon style, like, dog nose to the <laughs> ground is, like, just following it intently. I think with now that reaction, I'll definitely turn into a dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into a mastiff and, or a bloodhound. Yeah, back into the dog I was at, at Akros. As far as reaction, I think I would immediately go and and follow her behind. I'll follow behind her to have, to help out. Okay, there's not much of a track area around. The ground is soft, but it disappears shortly into the trampled footprints of. With your previous role, I'm going to say you can just identify it. Uh, it appears thirty or more feral hogs just Ooh. tore across this field. <laughs> well, I cast Guiding Bolt on Tam. <laughs> Incredible. What'd I do? Do you not know How the How dare joke? you bring that meme to me again? <laughs> Ruined I my know. life. I don't think I know that I one. I know the joke. Oh, we'll, we'll send, send it to you We'll later. send pictures. <laughs> oh, goodness. So a bunch of feral hogs. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I will, I will, if, if they follow it, I'll tell them, but if not, I'll return and talk to both the ranger and the farmer and just kind of explain, like, um, uh, so, uh, unfortunate compliment, I guess, double-edged side coin, uh, so, it, I, it's not the gods. There is a person who was here that has, has been at the scene of other various crimes, a, a hooded, hooded figure. I, I recognize their tracks. I know for certain that it was them. Um, and many, many hogs ran through here as well. I, I would really recommend keeping an eye out for this hooded figure. The hooded figure. <clears throat> And you say you're tracking them. For whom? Uh, for us. They've done quite a few slights by us at this point. I would like to figure out who they are and what they're up to. Well, has this been reported Shields. to the authorities in Akros? Uh, yes. They do know of him. Yes. And prior, a little bit up, up the river, those tr same tracks were shown, so definitely this figure was in the area. They're headed south, so we've we've been following you since Akros. Hmm. I see, and he's going to turn to Prime and Volrot. 
Um, I want you to stay here and assist this farmer with rebuilding his fences along here. And then I would like you to go into town and... Unfortunately, sorry for the interruption, but he's not yes. that type of Andorant. Not that type? What do you mean? He's, he's more clerical. Not clerical like a cleric, but clerical like organization and information. He's incapable also... of building a fence. Uh, I mean, we could all work mm. together to build a fence real quick, but we'd like to keep Prime with us if possible. Uh, I've been told that I'm very offensive, so I might be of you. <laughs> yeah. You could stop right there. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> mm. All I am saying is Prime is special and special. integral to our integral to our mission. And I'd rather... Keep a tr keep an eye on him. Like my friend here said, we probably could help you build the fence instead. I figured you needed to be on your way, but if you're will if you're willing to help, uh, yeah, just I mean, with with the six of us, I think it'd be quick, easy work. And in exchange, if you could just tell us more about the area, more south. I mean, like we've been tracking so. Any information or, or other things you've seen that might help us, I think, in exchange would be, would be a perfect trade. Good. That's good. And let's get to work. Would you mind if your, your machine took the farmer back to his home and maybe fixed him a meal and helped him to settle down? Oh, he's good at fixing meals. <laughs> he can do that. Prime, is that all right? His name is Prime. Not mm -hmm. just a machine. Prime. 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 Would you mind if Prime went and served in assisting to make a meal for this farmer? It's, yeah, it's up well, to it him. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't I, be. I would be more than us. happy to. Perfect. Thank you. So this is where we will end this evening, as Prime is going to get the farmer out of here and try to make him a meal, and the ranger will work with you to put up fences that obviously did such a great job of keeping the hogs out in the first place, but 